Oh, chimpanzee that! Oh, right, you'll like this one. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names. Like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And- So it- they're, they're, they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, this one, right? And um, it's called crap. Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? <laughs> it um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> Yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look for your book? Can I have a look for your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some, uh, umbongo and that's all. Uh... <laughs> But no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> what are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it. And then I read it thinking, well that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No. It could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I don't, you don't what do you mean would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> This is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, yeah, I, 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 wh what? There's got to be a third Why is that, that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, do you- First nut monkey with tattoo head, W- I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? I don't know. Didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But- <laughs> But he didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have other I questions? I mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that, then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what- I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know- I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true. Mm -hmm. I- I- I mean, I don't know where to start with that. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that! Right, um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it- it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in a place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne. Nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew. Well, there's no point in getting on VHS. Because you're on VHS. <laughs> you're <having> a... <laughs> Throw it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right? And I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, you familiar with this? And uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that. A monkey's running riot, but she couldn't- she didn't know the full story. <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a- do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know- is he a zoo in Acne? Is he a zoo there? I, I don't, don't know, know what sort it was. But it- it, it was like- Is God. there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, well, like, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff. And um, <laughs> the- the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that and you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it. They saw it nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, "Get fingerprints." What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart. Attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs. Specifically DVDs. Uh, DVDs, I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure somewhere. it wasn't a kid with a mask on? 
No, seriously. How is he breaking into homes? They go down at the drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. Well, yeah. I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to- there was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if, in Hackney if- Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch. Which would have been good, <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that uh, kept getting on buses, not paying its fare, not paying its fare, and just sat in the corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl, you're an idiot. Well, that that wasn't in London. You're an idiot. Either. That was in America. It wouldn't somewhere. read the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going. Oh well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the inspector will notice my hairy hands. <laughs> Well, Pillington. Uh, Carl, Carl, Pillington. I've just had a news flash that an infinite number of monkeys in Hackney and icking an infinite number of typewriters. Yeah. We don't no. know what for. At this stage, we've got no more information. And they've, they've taken back an infinite amount of graduate on video. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. This is yeah. rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Chimpanzee that monkey news night. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, um, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. You ready? Yeah. Right. There's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Internet, probably. Internet. You. I'm, I'm short Chat rooms on the internet. I'm short <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. <laughs> I'd love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train's sort of coming on the right line. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the train's coming and that. I have British Rider listening. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company happy with that. I'm sure they they, they they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point. Did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, 19, probably. Well, well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation of their news before they give it out as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face and <laughs> transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you, never, he always, he always has some um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeve. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes, you're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth, and it comes out the, the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? Pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with- what's up with that? You're a- you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why your, your IQ is sort of about 80. I think you might be. <laughs> oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news! <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Let's do it. I haven't read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? 
It's been Don't say anything stupid. Think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a little monkey work working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, mm -hmm. do a little bit of magic, people loved it. Mm -hmm. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there was so mi many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do you use, what do you yeah. do? So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- just What, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? What? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I I if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna go see tonight? I don't know. It's, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they exactly. Have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. Like, we can't give them names, it's <laughs> yeah. impossible. But, you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So, anyway, so, uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Because in Morocco, he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, he said, how about we, uh... <laughs> See? No, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, alright, go on then. Right, so, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat. And, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh -huh. And, uh, just before filling up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, alright, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's round. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh -huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let right, finish the story. it better not be. It better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. All right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fellow says, what are you talking P about? Pump, pump four? 4, isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use- No, I mean Pump 4. Sure. So yeah, he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You. Sticks his head out of the door. Yeah. The monkey's giving it some. Uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just, let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts, right? There are no facts. So, it number 86. It number, number 86, 86 drove, he drove to Spain. You are, uh, honestly, Carl, I, you must know. It was an automatic. Right. How Carl, did he, how you did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey <laughs> That's the thing with his feature, though. He gets stopped at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Has he got a passport? No, 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 he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Well, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, uh, because I can't- that's, that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. Um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that- Got a got a decent job in a train station. Um, can you think of any other? other well, that's just that? some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean. So that's what you got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um, just I tell us. I know the monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? He's got uh, another one. You know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> they decided to, you know. 
get married. Yeah. They did. What do you mean they decided to get married? Was it pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and, uh... <laughs> a good do! I love the spread! I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh, celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's, that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because- It's not true. <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not- On an over website. Official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania. Uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's- <laughs> After a whirlwind romance. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was in the tyre. Yeah. He saw it. <laughs> yeah. He went, I have a go at that. They go, we well, got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, do you just- yeah. Did you just shag my He was in a zoo knocking one off. She went, I can do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess so. The monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. No, oh. so bride was, <laughs> not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was <laughs> no. I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, like right, you know, right. I, I, yeah, I'm single thoughts. now. It's like you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure, looked lovely, by sure. the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see? You know uh, uh, the the. This is the guest in- I hope they didn't there. ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. Totally <laughs> <laughs> with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I- I really- I, well I apologise, play a record. <laughs> Come on now. Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to save this link now. Monkey news. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff, <laughs> right, on monkeys. Um, and most of it has been- It's uh, bollocks! No, it's been, has been like, happy stories. Oh, is this <laughs> a it's not- it's just gonna be like our tune. Our monkey tune. That's Simon Bates and, uh, welcome to our monkey tune. No, Go but do, do you know what I mean? We've, we've done, we've done stuff about a monkey that <laughs> robbed a bank. Why is uh, that happy? He had a great life after that. <laughs> right. What, and Marbella? Yeah. Alright, we did, uh, the one who, s who, uh, saved someone's handbag in a railway station. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lovely marriage, couple of marriages. Couple of marriages. <laughs> couple of monkey marriages. Yeah, um, yeah. It was the one who got a job in a railway station. Yeah, the hairdresser. The one who set up a business in Spain. <laughs> I don't even I remember, don't that, remember one. that one. Either. But, I mean, yeah. uh, I'm willing to believe that that happened. Go on then, Carl. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today's isn't isn't that uh, isn't that happy really? It's about uh, some monkey. I think it was a chimp. Um, He's an ape. Go on. It tried to. It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> What are you talking about, Carl? I, I don't, it it I jumped mean, past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? He, do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, "There's this monkey went to Russia um, <laughs> to do some business, do some stuff, I don't know bit of monkey business." And um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> so, they were furious. <laughs> we wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh. No, I thought it was taking a turn for the worst. What, couldn't even get into a, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff. Um, you know, sharing drink and what have you around a little fire. Um, <laughs> They broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless flat. anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a you know, roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, he had his he mate. He said that in Russian, though. <laughs> but what is it, what, what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, I didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables, that, I mean, they, they, that class leaders sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so. Sure. He probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? There was, was a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left, uh, little chimps out there. 
got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And uh, the boss was like, what's going on here? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so the, uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going, <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What, did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just like, bat, you know? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the, uh, give you the story if you want. Uh, there's the headline. What is it? What's the headline, Steve? I don't want to see it, but... The headline, this is once again from supposedly reputable news organisation Ananova, homeless monkey arrested in Russia. Uh. <laughs> did- sorry, did you read on or did you see the headline and make up that whole story? It's, uh, most- most of it is there. What- most what isn't it. there? What- what bit isn't there then? Uh, no, I think- I think, you know, uh, uh, Steve can have a look over it, check it out and stuff. Point but out it, the embellishment was... for me, Steve, will you? Wh well, what it doesn't say is, uh, <laughs> that the police didn't realise it was a monkey. That's what I was guessing. That's what I was guessing. Really. That they got it back and they said, what are you doing? We've got a monkey here. And they go, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. There's some more, uh, monkey problems in the week. Have you seen the Alfords advert with monkeys in? No. There's a new advert out for Alfords, selling bikes and stuff. Yeah. Got some monkeys in it. It's yeah. caused an uproar. Why? People are saying it's, uh... You know, dressing them up in tracksuits and that is uh taking the mickey out of Manchester. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not nice for the animals and that. So there's been loads of complaints. Well, they get about a free it. bike or something, do they? I imagine. I think they kept the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the monkey news? It's, it's been a bit quiet, and I I've been what in the last eye three out. months. Okay, uh, there was something that I found last week about uh, one that was in an old people's home. Um, <laughs> it, it escaped from some zoo, it was wandering about, it was enjoying itself, and then when it got to the night time, it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> and the first place it came across was like this old people's home. Yeah. Went in there, I think it was there for about a week and a half, <laughs> without anyone realising. No. No, no, no. No, no, it did. No, what, what, so, so the, the helpers and the nurses and the, the social workers and the, the matrons and all that, they thought, well, uh, Mr. Sanders looks a bit hairy. <laughs> but, I mean, that happens, you, you know, it comes out of your ear and your nose when you get to about 70. <laughs> and he stooped over, yeah, of course he has, he's got bow legs, yeah. And he eats more fruit, of course he does. Well, that, that's when they, that's when they realised. Why? Because the, someone in the kitchen said, hang on a minute, getting through more bananas than we know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. Right then, so, uh... There's this monkey, right, right, in Canada, it's in a zoo in, uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right, and, uh, what happened was, all the, the people in the zoo, uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do, uh, sort of spice the day up a bit, right? Yeah. So they left, Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new let story. Let him do the news, let him yeah. do the news. Okay. So they, they left- Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news, all well, right? I, I, you would interrupt Moira Stewart. It was about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says, today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say, right, there was a monkey, right? Yeah, right. Well, in well, Canada, on, right? Just finish right. the okay. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada. Right. Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder. Right. And they said, let's, let's leave it for the, uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So, um, anyway, they, they passed what? it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this, this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh... Annoys me that he calls them monkeys though. He They're was, not monkeys, they're he apes. He was, a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, <laughs> uh, filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. <laughs> no, he didn't! Just let, this is the news, what are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good shots. It really annoys me. Let's Any hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right, so he started, uh, at night, like, when the zookeepers went home, he started filming, like, other monkeys on, on the go, like, like, whilst they were at it, 
right? And he was filming them and what have you. <laughs> the Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You know yeah. it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> So anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh, um, yeah, this is, uh, uh, honestly, so, I, you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So, Can I stop him now? So they thought like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who, who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you. So let's give them the videos. That is so me. untrue. This is so untrue. So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey. So it's what so happened untrue. Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> So oh God! <laughs> you're talking so much shit again. So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Honest. Look at me! Don't keep talking. Look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that b by chance one all this. Oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 two, they go. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this is good. Still, this is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got us a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So this is ridiculous. The, 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 so let me just recap because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him saying stuff? Can you go? It's like, just like you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes um, because what happened was um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh. Uh, Oh and the animals God. and the animals are uh, happy having him around because he's not a human. He's just one of the gang. Do you know True. what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like you know ostriches. Right. Uh, and talking <laughs> shit. I, I there was uh, so and do you know they have a problem with pandas in in Japan. Yeah. So they've they've sent him out there filming uh, filming a bit. Of, where are you going? It's, uh, you, you, honestly, you, you you really annoy me. There's Come no on, please, way this I, is happening. Can we it's just hear the end? Why can't he just find a real story about a a a, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. end. The end is he's really that he's, he's going to China. He's, he's filming the pandas and what. No, he's not. They wouldn't send a so, monkey director. Well, they would that. not it's send it's a pointless. monkey director. Hmm. So monkey news. If you've uh, only just started listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor fool. Um, Monkey News is where Carl um, reports for us all the latest monkey activity. A headline or a word or someone, someone, someone's over he overheard in a pub and then totally embellishes it and makes it ridiculous and impossible. He <laughs> believes it though. He believes every word he's saying. Let me say that before you hear, when you hear this, whatever it is, I haven't heard it, twaddle, um, remember, Carl totally believes it. Go on. Right, so anyway, right, I think it's in, uh, in LA, this happened. Right. I think. Why? What does he think? Uh, so these people are in a in a restaurant having a lovely meal. <laughs> Is one of them short and hairy, but it goes <laughs> totally covers from top to bottom in a spacesuit, so he didn't know it was a monkey. It's not uh, one of the customers, one of the waiters. So that so they're having a having a lovely dinner, probably one of the best sort of dinners they've they've had, right? Yeah. Mm. So the waiter comes over and it's like, you know, can we just say that I had a lovely meal and that? Right, it's the chef. <laughs> of course it is. So, can we see uh, the chef? Yeah. So, so can, <laughs> can we just, you know, see, see the guy who cooked it? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Short fella, hairy. So, the waiter, the, said, to be honest, the, waiter, much. the waiter said, look, he's busy, you know, he's got meals to cook and what have you. He hasn't really got time. So, it only took a minute. He said, no, I prefer, you know. So, this like, is a restaurant in LA that I'll, serves brilliant food. I'll pass, I'll pass your message on and what have you, right? So, um. So, he <laughs> sends for, so, uh, monkey Pierre White. So, it's a bit odd. Anyway. <laughs> So, so they go, so they go out, right? They go, uh, they go out to the car and they notice the, yeah. uh, the kitchen door's open. Yeah. Right? Yeah, of course they do, because they're, they're gonna discover something that I don't know. So they they're just- gonna, on, this, um, just, just out of interest, this, uh, the, where did this, um, chef train before, before we see him or reveal, you know, what he might look like or mm. like to eat, yeah, um, right. um, so well, anyway, so, uh, so they pop their head in and think, we'll just, we'll just nip in and go, yeah, you know, not? love, love, love fruit salad or whatever. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So they stick their see head the in. human, we better see the human chef. <laughs> yeah. You never guess what. Go on. Monkey stood on a chair, right, <laughs> cooking veg. <laughs> right, so anyway, so they're like, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? Questions. What do you mean he's cooking veg? What is he doing with it? Well, he's, he's stood on a chair by the, by the cooker and he's, yeah. uh, chopping, stu chopping stuff. Oh, he's, he's chopping it as well now. He's just isn't it? Yeah. He's got a little, uh, you know, he's, he's got the, the bosses in there, they're, they're like a bit shocked. So he's a bit panicking because he's got this monkey working for him. So they say to him, what's going on, eh? We didn't know this, this is what's going on, you know, why have you got a monkey cooking stuff? So he said, well, they it's early, a monkey, I should point out, who probably doesn't need instructions from its girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget it. What else you got? 
monkey news. Yeah. Right, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Oh, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have so some monkey news. some monkey news. You made enough noise there, Rick, you wanna- Sorry, but it's- it, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news, you f- Right. Um, I haven't read this through properly, so- Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just- oh, zoomed oh, that. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through properly? Well, basically, properly? right, it's- it's, um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, innit, now, chat rooms. You get on there, you can Right, have a chat. if you say someone was having a, a <laughs> meeting with someone, they wanted to meet- it. Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, but, it. Right, there is no- there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate matter, and does, understand. Do you want to know the story? <laughs> You and said, you said that- Did they get married? Was three months later, she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what annoys I me, want sir. a divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me. Bobo. <laughs> you, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they've, if they're given the time. No! That's Listen, not it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare and monkeys. It's a philosophical conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the- it's about- uh, yeah, yeah. Infinity. Right, so this one, this one then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and- Who's that, that Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were- they were looking over it, trying to look for- for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like, really strange things, like, instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar? Right, it'd be like- Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet right, on? Right, okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later, anyway. I'm just gonna good. listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's let's, online. Let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How- you, you are- you're nearly- you're, you're ill. You're nearly- you're, you, okay, right. well, I don't know the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something's sexy, they'd say, make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute- Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying, should we get married, they're saying, how swollen and red is your arse? <laughs> you you know stupid that? fool. Do you no, know that, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> monkey news. Yeah, monkey news. <laughs> oh, monkey, monkey news. <laughs> right, if you're a new listener, this is where we do a bit of monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine him giving these charts on a news program, yeah. like Newsnight Review or News at Ten. Uh, over to Carl Pilkington. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Monkey's gone mad again. <laughs> Go on. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of picked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> I, love that. I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Well, right. He's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh -huh. right. Oh yeah, the one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is he speaks, right? Oh God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, He, yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And, uh, they also like going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> Anymore, I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh Which, gosh! Right, uh, that, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, "Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer?" Exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. But the thing is, right, you're saying about the the infinite thing again about yeah. monkeys. If you put them in a room with a typewriter, they'll come up with Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah. I'd sort of agree with that, right? <laughs> with monkeys who can't do other stuff, but this one I reckon's gonna be busy taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think monkeys that are boring. <laughs> Is there a boring monkey? Is there- would you ever have a chimp and you'd go- it, it, Suzanne would go, I've got your birthday present. And you have, it's a chimp, it's a chimp fella. He's about, you know, about a sort of like a middle-aged chimp. No, I, I'd love it. I'm talking would on Would you ever go, the... I'll tell you what Suzanne, that one's boring. No, no, but I bet- the monkey would get bored, I mean. Do you know what I mean? The monkey would be bored. I'd be loving it. I'd love to have a little monkey. Right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is... <laughs> you really would, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd buy him a camera, he'd be happy again, wouldn't you? Well... Yeah, but that's just it. You wouldn't get him It's like... 
If you can do other stuff, you don't want to do the boring stuff. Forget the typing, forget the monkey's typing. Talk about this monkey that's a photographer. No, what but you we are in a way. I'm, I'm just saying that that would be happier. Monkeys that have got nothing else to do, if they can't take pictures and that, and they can't go on chat rooms. They're happy to sit in a room typing away for, typing for away. infinity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he's got maybe a little exhibition to put on. <laughs> do you- Do you think- Do you know most- do you know that most chimps and apes and monkeys still actually just live in trees? These are in laboratories and zoos and things. You know that, that that's not the norm. These- these monkeys yeah, yeah. walking around sort of chatting and riding bikes. Yeah. You know, that's not natural. Exactly. No, I know, but it, it's- if, it, if you left a bike in the jungle and then came back a few years later, there wouldn't be monkeys riding around on it and a book. If you left a bike with a book in the basket, right, and you went away for ten years and you came back, there wouldn't be a whole new transport system and schools. <laughs> no. They'd eat it. They'd throw it round and eat it. All right, then, so what you're saying is you can't- see, what I think is, right, and don't take this the wrong way in that, right, Stephen Hawking. Yes. Right? Now, he had a bad illness. Now, <laughs> I wonder if <laughs> he'd be- illness. I wonder if he'd be as bright as he is if he didn't have that. Right. Because he's had time to sit down, he's like, well, what can I do? Yeah. They've gone and give him a book. And he read it. I like that. G give us another one. Yes. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Yes. Now what I'm saying is monkeys, <laughs> yeah, right. they, that, this one here, Coco, which I think was a gorilla. Right. Right. That wouldn't have been happy on a, on a little keyboard, just doing that Type all day, because it'd be going, well I could be out taking pictures. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record! Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Play a record! Yeah. Done. You're an idiot! There it was. There's the catchphrase. Once more. He is! He's an idiot! Bit of monkey news that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right. Good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little. Job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down, um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there, and it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and, uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack, so, so it's a, so it's a pet monkey. It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's, it's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it, it's, it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job and then- So what's it say? It says, Junior fifteen pounds, stylist thirty five pounds, <laughs> monkey sixty three pounds. <laughs> so I didn't quite follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> right. Maybe maybe it did but start But it looks good, its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang Yeah, on. but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because that's what I thought when I read it. Without having yeah. a good haircut. How often right. do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a- was another place and it was run by sort of, you know, these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd, uh, you know, you're going what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just- just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for air cut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to take it. <laughs> no, no, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So know. for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that- that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I air cut. I don't want to be hassled. It, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who worked in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack next to a railway station. <laughs> so, um. Can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So, anyway, that's all, yeah. Yes. I didn't quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about. He wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there, he was and a train, said, this yeah. is nice. 
You sat there picking the nits and Oh, I d- oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then- It's just that it's not- it's the embellishment. You don't walk in- he walked from a jungle to an hairdresser's. I mean, you're an idiot. You really are an idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said, this is relaxing. Apparently he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right, on people's heads. He said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's put him on the payroll? What do you mean? No, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Kane. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Yeah. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for like salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And knits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets, when <laughs> it gets deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but, but a good monkey news, you know, yeah. backed up with, uh, with good tabloid <laughs> with large, journalism. With so, yeah, with solid yeah. evidence there. So. Now that's, I think we, we should start marking the monkey news, Rick. I don't know what you think, giving it marks out of ten maybe. Uh, for both interest and validity. Well, for interest I'll give it seven. For Carl's, uh, Carl believing that there was something to this monkey thinking it had a job and getting yeah, paid. but it was also <laughs> doing kind of perms. Two. And colouring. Two. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yep. yep. Everything's normal, everyone's yep. happy, right? Yep. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in, with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof. Up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. Uh, so, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay, let's right. hear the end. It's a it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, Is it a man? Starts <laughs> waving a gun around. Shut Is up, it? Rick. Let me let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right. Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish he didn't come in here. It's not going to be a good day. How tall is it. the man? Shut up. Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know. Oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Hey, what, in what? In English? In English? Yeah. In English. So. Yeah. So everyone's panicking. Everyone's getting on the floor, thinking this is it. This is you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's all bad news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders <laughs> in, right? Uh, go, goes up to the robber. Where did it, where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Don't, like sit down, sit down no, and finish. I'm, fin- not, I'm not having this. And it, does, it, does, story. it does a runner with the, with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are- you have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No! What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in, whether- was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking? think, Carl! Think! I know it's mad, that's- that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how- how like, how monkeys are, are pretty, you know, they're mental. <laughs> <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you- think? They've never seen the monkey since. What, did he have a get- getaway car? Waiting. Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish. Well, uh, Steve, Steve emailed it in. He's got it off the net. And the funny oh, okay. thing is, Can the I funny see it? thing Have you is, got the there? yeah. The funny thing is, um, it, it wasn't just him who sent it. I had that a couple of times. So 
a few people obviously read the story and said, you know, that'll be good for Monkey News. It doesn't say anymore. It doesn't say if he went off to Spain. It doesn't <laughs> say, you know, what, you know, if he's on Crime Watch. Yeah. It doesn't say any of that. It's just saying that's what he did. That's the story. And that's what Monkey I News actually, is about. I've heard that they're making a movie version with Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 so I look forward to that and Judy Waters. So that's, that's this week's Monkey News. If you've got any, you know, well, if anything's no, happening don't in, bother. in your town. That's the end. No, that is the end. That's the end of Monkey News. No more Monkey News. Sorry, what was the- what was the- sorry, sorry, what was the monkey news? Quickly. There must no, 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 we got to save monkey news. Let's do that when we, uh, when we Is it quick? Off. Is it quick? Going into the record? Uh, what, the monkey news? Is it quick? Yeah. I, I can tell it to you quick. Quick, then. Right. Jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Go. Shambles. Hurry up! There's a monkey in India, right? On a, uh, railway station. Waiting for the train. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mess about because I've got to get through it quick. There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, and uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something. <laughs> goes running off down the platform. The police are chasing him. Monkey steps in, trips a fella up, pins him down. Police come and arrest the fella. He tripped over the monkey. Okay, play a record. He didn't. He tripped over he the didn't. monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, ya. Right. Well. uh... This monkey news story, right? It's about uh, this fella, a couple of fellas in Texas, yeah. uh, sort of running a uh, running a farm, yeah. right? Just because they, they're definitely fellas. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> how tall yeah, are they? Yeah, no, Can no, we no, just, just let okay? Tell us they are not human beings. These two are human beings. Times against they're us. They're right? running running this farm and that. And uh, yeah. anyway, so they're outside getting the cattle, and they, he turns around, right? Says that cow's. A couple, so couple of monkeys walking about. So he knows what's going on. Right. Mm. So anyway, so it's in Texas. They don't know what to do with the monkeys. There isn't a zoo. It's fairly barren there, isn't it? You know what I mean? Not much going about. Mm. So the other fellow who runs the farm with him says, "Look, we need a bit of an hand." Right. Yes. So uh, right. said, so "Let's teach them some stuff." And the monkeys were happy with that because they were lost anyway. Right. So they had. <laughs> they had nothing to do. They were bumming around. They were looking for work. They hired a motorhome. They got yeah. out of their way. Maybe it's like the Hulk. They're like the Bruce Banner <laughs> wandering so, around, going, oh, "I need some, need some work." You won't get angry, will you? So no. anyway, right? So they taught them. They taught these monkeys how to ride a horse. Right. So <laughs> they've both got. Uh, Sorry, you, you're sure Charlton Heston's not going to pop up? You sure got, you weren't watching a video last night and thought it was a documentary? They've both got a horse each, right? They've been given like a little lasso and all that. Oh, business. Oh, yeah. don't talk right. shit, Carl. So, anyway, it's going well, and it carried on for about two years. This, right? It's Possibly. like you know, r rounding up the cattle over yeah, night yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. um... The two fellas are chatting, going, it's worked out well, hasn't it? Right. right, if there's a hostile takeover and they sort of like buy up 51% of the shares so or something. So he says, for this to continue, the monkeys are getting old a bit now. We need a, we <sighs> need need a little woman, woman monkey in here to sort of get some kids going for like the future farm yeah. people. Forward right? planning, yeah. So they get a little woman monkey. They in. decided to only to hire monkeys <laughs> from Ireland. Why not? It's working. Why mess with something when it's not broke, right? <laughs> so they get, they get the little woman monkey in. Uh, they have kids and all that business, right? Mm. But the problem was, right? When they first got the woman monkey in, it was like, well, which one's gonna have the woman? Right. right? So, they started sort of fighting a bit and what have you. Yeah. But because they'd seen the owners of the farm with like don't guns Don't tell and me stuff, the baby monkeys didn't want to go into the family business, weren't enough to be a lawyer. They had a bit of a shoot off. <laughs> Shut up! They got two monkeys, right? And don't tell oh, Because they'd seen the owners, they'd seen the owners with guns and what have you. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that sounds, that sounds so they had, a bit of, had a bit of a shoot off. Yeah. That's how they, that's how they sorted it out. And who won? I think it was George. The one called George. Right. So they had, they had, I think they had 17 kids. The farm's still running. So that's, that's like the, the last little monkey news there. Good little Rick, happy ending to that one. if you were to rub your nipple against his lips while I held him down. Right, come off it now. Come on. No, I'm not doing it. Bruce Springsteen, Thunder Road, last track on Next of Hems with you, Steve. You can check this all out on the webcam. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought I got fingers. Get his arm out of the way. Get the arm out of the way. This happened on scum. This is scum. <laughs> Mary dress week. It's the big one. It's what people tune in for. At they probably tune in about ten to these days for monkey news with uh, Carl Pilkington. Can we hear the jingle? Only four to go. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's about a, uh, 
It's been emailed into me. Right. right. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been I busy. hope it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908 and the person saying it's, you know, it's a good story and that, and uh, they're surprised they haven't picked up on it yet. Right? <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right? Mm. Um, in 1908 mm. in London. <laughs> Apparently it was meant to happen in, in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why. Right? And it happened in London. Mm. Anyway. 400 metres, right, it was meant to, uh, <laughs> there was a fella who was, who was gonna do the run, right, and the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy, right, it right. was like a new Okay, uh, these, these are the few things it cannot be. One, he injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. <laughs> uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. <laughs> um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm gonna go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this, this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's gonna do it, gonna Is he hairy? Nice little, is this it? bloke hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run. And you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win. And suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm, right? he's eating a banana. <laughs> and Come there's on, a fella, there's a fella in the lane next to him. Yeah. Right, he's going up. Who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. Keep Right. Doesn't look familiar. Who's he? Yeah. You know, weird. What's, weird, going, on? what's yeah. going on? What's yeah. going on? What's going on? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Or who is it? I mean, or not what is it? So they go in. <laughs> so they say, well, it, it might not be that any good. Do you know what I mean? He might not be good in night. It's just a bit short, anyway. Doesn't matter. He's only three foot six and he's hunched over on his knuckles. So, I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So well, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be any good. No, no. So, so the race starts. Oh, he's putting his finger up his ass. That's weird for runners to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fella that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah. had our money on the favourite, what's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Long arms, long arms, that trophy's higher than- So anyway- <laughs> He's so only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. <laughs> so it's so I'm suspicious, go on. They had the, they had the picture in the paper the next day. Sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but quite hairy for a run. Oh, for f- I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite airy for because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s make them faster and no. they go, how did he manage it? It's really airy and that. So anyway, he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli Olympic committee, look further into it, turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. Right. No, don't keep talking. Shut Why up, shut up, this is monkey news. If you can't handle the news- It's news from 1909 and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. <laughs> Be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right? Now Don't the thing is- Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic Committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of like- <laughs> oh, shut up! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing, <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. Don't talk shit! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to Athens? But it's, it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? right. I do not believe it. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Right, you f are you, uh, familiar with Undreth Monkey? Keep the talking. Undreth Monkey? Undreth. <laughs> yeah, like as in like, uh, one more than ninety-nine. Hundredth. Yeah. The one hundredth monkey. Yeah, have you, are you familiar with that? No. No. Oh. Uh. Anyway, thanks, that was well, monkey news. We'll, we'll uh, next then. week, Adam and Jet. what do you mean you're gonna leave that? Well, I thought it was a popular phrase or something. <laughs> what, hundredth monkey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a popular phrase? What, what, why? <laughs> what? Cos you're gonna do songs and phrase with it next week. We've said it once before, hundredth monkey. <laughs> no, it's just, uh, it says the expression hundredth monkey. Well, right, do it anyway, it what's the story? From. Well, it's from the 1950s, right? Uh -huh. And the way that they got it because, um, <sighs> they were following some monkeys about, right? And they started- <laughs> Who was? Who was? Who was? Journalists. <laughs> oh yeah, why? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say what what they're up to. Right? Okay, so they're following some monkeys around. Yeah, <laughs> what was it? What a documentary. Anyway, one of them. <laughs> come on, come on. One of them washed some potatoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Let's leave that. Right. Let's leave. Why are you in Come on. A monkey what? washing potatoes. Can we leave that one? No. no. It's You've got to do it now. <laughs> they're they're following a what is it? Like, like, sort of like a family. Is it a family of monkeys? Like, or it, was a... it was just one chimp, and it was washing a potato, and he thought that's a bit odd. 
right? Yeah. And oh, yeah. It, it turns out that 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 ended up teaching another monkey yeah. how to wash a potato. No, they do it. They do. It, they go down and wash them in the sea because they like they like the taste of salt. And the it's, weird it's, thing it's, is though, they when, pass it got, on, when it got to the hundredth monkey, right? Even though it hadn't been taught how to wash a potato, yeah. it automatically knew. It knew what to do. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? It, it was in them. It was in them that, that they knew that when they get a potato, they had to wash it. That isn't the monkey news. I'm just I'm just saying that's where the expression comes from. But you're not even heard of that. So. Well, there's a couple of things there. That it could be a, a, another upshot, and you know, an instinct is is part of your genetics and anything else. Washing a potato. But, but you can't pass on acquired characteristics. So that's nonsense. If you mean that. Uh, someone was taught they had a child and it knew it. There's no, there's no chemical right. memory as such in some So that wasn't even monkey news? No, the, the monkey news, you know, we've, we've covered a lot of stuff. There was sad, <laughs> there was sad, sad stuff, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, there's some funny stuff in there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um. Do monkey news! Robbers and that. Um, football team. A monkey football team? Yeah, in, mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. Uh. Got all the, uh, got all the team members here, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all the different things. Um, little goalkeeper. Apparently he's on transfers from some other club. But the bit that got me attention is, apparently he's a holder of PhD of physics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look at that, please? Well, the goalkeeper? Yeah, just the goalkeeper. The, the others haven't done that much. <laughs> the others haven't done that much? Well, I believe that he's got better exam results than you, Carl, but... I don't believe he's got a PhD in physics. Good Obviously, right. do you know what the name of the team is? <laughs> Coconuts. <What? laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, so if the Telegraph are listening, that is the sort of quality entertainment you get. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right, there's this monkey, right? Yeah. And it had been. Uh, do you know you hear about monkeys being badly treated and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, it goes into this, this home. It's 14, this monkey. It's called, uh, Matty, right? Goes into this home where it's looked after. What uh, do you mean, home? Just like, uh, just a little monkey home, right? Okay, so, so zoo. It's, yeah, kind of, yeah, but they haven't mm. got any other monkeys there, right? What have they so got there? They've got just other animals and that, but, but not that many monkeys. But anyway, because, mm. because he's there on his own, again, you know- it When you say monkey, do you mean a chimpanzee, by the way? Because you usually do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can't believe that, um, journalist thought this was scripted. Amazing. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, so it gets, it gets sort of pally with the people working there and that, and, uh, <laughs> it's smoking fags, it's having a drink at night and all this, right? What do you mean it's having a drink at night? How? <laughs> it's all here. It's all here. Steve, I mean, we haven't really got time, but- Well, you know, don't say it's all here like it's proof. You've got another stupid story that well, someone has put onto the internet. Someone sitting at home in their bedroom mm -hmm. has put onto the internet. So it's having That's a fag, it. it's drinking a lovely glass of Bang Rock Station. <laughs> yeah, Haven't the wine that's perfect for a barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's loving life. It's forgetting about its past and everything, right? When this this other monkey comes along. Oh, oh no! Trouble's brewing. Go on. Right, that comes in. Something said. <laughs> <laughs> right, for, forget it then. For, for, forget, no, it. No, no, forget it. Forget no. it. Forget it. Forget it. You're gonna love this one, Steve. Go right? On. Uh, yeah. So last week we were talking about. How, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right? Yes, and no, leave it there, oh, Rick. We haven't got time to go into right, it. Right, so. That's what happened. And that's what happened. He lived with the monkeys, he went airy. That's, anyway, what, happened. that's what happened. Looked into, uh, some other stuff about, like, airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right? So, uh. Um, Trouble's brewing. L loving his job and that, but. It's quite a lonely sort of job because you don't see many people, you're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So, anyway, well. he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to, to a human. Well, that he is. Right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Well, it's dangerous. What, what do you mean, what type was it? Do you just mean let it him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp, yeah. Yeah, it was I a don't chimp. even know. So it was a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does so it? So he gets pally with him. Right, so he gets pally with well, him. Well, did they go on holiday together? Well, no, I mean, it starts on off- the Starts off just checking each other out and, uh, you know, probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right? Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh, you know, they, they're getting on well on that. And then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks, 
he could he could live at home with me. This because yes. we're getting on the storm. Yeah. Right. So he takes him home, and before is this you know the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think it is. I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried because he's already <laughs> imitating you, and they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Right, so on. anyway, so it's moving in and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Piggy tips. As a, <laughs> as a, uh, it finishes the day off with oh, a, with a, dear. Finishes, <laughs> they fi finishes the day off with what? With it does, a, a it doesn't have brandy. a move a piano at one point, does <laughs> he? He finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pours himself a, is he wearing a smoking jacket? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Carl, you're, you're listen, a maniac, Listen, mate. no, this is, this is why it attracted me, it's amazing, right? <laughs> right? So, he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of, um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice so it's the head. opposite of the kid. Well, no. Yeah. This is what well, I'm that, that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he was shaved know. or if it How did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you right, can well, see okay, if I've gone wrong. Going, so going. anyway, so, wow. um, so this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because He's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the this zoo. This is such so, rubbish. So the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he friend. says there's no point you coming in to the zoo, because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back, so he said, you stay at home. So you are ju you're talking such a- Just let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me- oh, I'm fascinated. It's, it's, it's nearly over anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary. Kind so, of. <coughs> it, he's walking up right, he's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy, um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go away, see? How does he do that? <laughs> well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, but, what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's but, built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well done. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So it's not a quick joke and just uh, put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how. I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> exactly. And he ah, oh, that what is. What was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing? <laughs> Carl? That. He's not going to be talking with her. They're not going to be playing like, trivia pursuit. Maybe, maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, it didn't go into that, it just said it, that's when the trouble started. Oh, play a record. Right. <laughs> Is that what Suzanne did when she brought you in? <laughs> yeah. Oh! What is it? Chimpanzee that. Oh yeah. Chimpanzee that, monkey news. Right, well the last one of the year. <clears throat> it's not that good, but this is all that's been going on all week. Yeah. Uh, little monkey. Um, what happened is, it's this plane, right, Aeroflot, I think it is, Russian airline, um, <sighs> having a good, having a good flight, everything's going normal and that. This is gonna be libelous. The, the pilot, sorry I mustn't interrupt my side, the, the, was, how tall was the pilot on this flight? Okay, listen, we've had a few complaints, people saying, don't but interrupt, don't interrupt, interrupt Steve. monkey news. Okay. Don't interrupt okay, monkey news. Okay, I won't then. It's like okay. the weather girl complaining whilst Trevor McDonald's doing the Okay, alright, go on then, right. go on then. Alright, so, uh. Uh, you know, the flight's going well, food's been served and all the rest of it. Anyway, someone gets upset about not having many nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. right, they've not got enough nuts. Oh, they, okay. hand, they hand the nuts out and that. One of the sort of passengers is going mental. Because what, what's, he, what's he saying? He's just, he's just What language mad. is he talking though? Is he Russian or English? So anyway, there's a bit <sighs> of a fight going on, a fight starts happening, people are going, what's up with that little fella? Right? The little airy bloke. So, uh, they, they sort of dragging- What's wrong, what's wrong with Bob Hoskins? And why is he screaming? Why isn't he talking in his usual Cockney accent? Why is Bob Hoskins screaming and grabbing at nuts? So, um, you've ruined it. Right? Come on, come no, on! Oh, right, 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 turn his microphone off, okay. interrupt right. you. Right. So anyway, so there's a fight going on. Nuts are going everywhere, right? <laughs> so, um, anyway, so they, they manage to tie him down, they get him on the floor, tie his legs up and that. Right? His little legs. Get him to the- <laughs> get him to- 
Come on, come See you on. later. Have a good Christmas. No! Carl, how dare you? Finish the story. All that happened is they got back, uh, it turned out that he shouldn't have been on the plane anyway. Why? His passport wasn't valid. Right. Um, and you can't cause problems on planes and that. So, he got put in a cell for a bit, turned out it was a little monkey. Uh, All right. Quick question, how did he complain about the shortage of nuts? Yeah. He just was going mental. Right, he didn't actually call over a stewardess, he just- Well, how did, he, how did he get on the plane first? Let's right. ticket to the app. Have a good Christmas and that. But yeah. you know it's rubbish. You See must you know that's rubbish. All you must best. know that's rubbish. All the best. You must know that's rubbish. Where is he going? Excellent. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news. Right. Uh, right, we're filming a, a documentary, right, this telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Who? Which one? Which one? Which I one? Don't know. No, well, what was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Africa. Right, where, when was this? I haven't got a date. Okay. Recently though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, <laughs> if you want it. Okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads? I don't think so, no. What happens? Halfords, they've, they've, uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um... Yeah. And what yeah. happened? Pack it. Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly. <laughs> Bicycles and, and motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the advert. What happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at what? him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, they, uh, there was a load of hassle because they were using these monkeys in this alpha <laughs> advert. Yes. Right. And what happened? <laughs> Get to the point. It turned out it wasn't a problem because they were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen. Let's get. Let's get back on. <laughs> they to were it. mechanics in the first place. <laughs> right. Listen. Right. So they're making this documentary. Right. And uh, they stumble across uh, a little gang <laughs> of uh, little gang. <laughs> Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed, don't hear that. <laughs> I know. Well, brilliant. What do you want, a cake? <laughs> Come on! Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story. Alright then, alright. <clears throat> so anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> Right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. It's just if you were looking forward to my kids. Got a hide your love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9, I'm making your with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, Monkey where, where, News. Where, 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 Right, where were we? We would just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay. For making a documentary in, uh, in the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on! Alright. Um... A little gang of monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on! So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing, nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't- they're not running a restaurant, they've not got any barber shops, <laughs> nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business, yeah. So anyway, uh, mm. the- what- what normally happens is the monkeys <laughs> stick with the partner. They <laughs> already <laughs> 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 do what? They- they don't sort of sleep around and that. Once they oh, find right, the- once they find monkeys. the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they stick- they stick with them, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And, uh, it's- it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oi, oi. And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So, uh, followed it round. <laughs> and, uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! It's a little monkey prostitute. It was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Woman. Little woman monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh! That is genius! Has this documentary been televised? Mm. Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. 
No. <laughs> and that's all the information you've got? <laughs> yeah. And, and is that, that's, um, uh, that's one banana for everything? Now, half a banana is for- Just oral. Uh, a poor job. <laughs> right. Um, if you want full-blown, uh, monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, uh, Let's just play a song. Quickly. Go on, then. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! Right, it's about a monkey. 2004, four, 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 four. It's about this, this woman monkey who was born in 1834. <laughs> right? Half monkey, half woman. No. Not true. It happened, apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail. Right? <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I christened uh, this, uh, thing a Victorian ape woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian ape woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head and on the back of her legs <laughs> and her arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Save so stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like ass sticking out the back <laughs> of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, the well, good, because they didn't have opposable thumbs, so, uh, uh, She could speak three languages. Yes. She, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey-human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um... Ah! Absolute twaddle. All right, well, That let's... more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A it Victorian there. monkey let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. I was worried we wouldn't have the old magic in 2004, but we're still talking shit. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news ya. Oh, uh, there isn't, uh, I've been away, haven't I? Oh. Uh, there's been no monkey news, you can't get- No, no, but I haven't had, had a proper chance to sort of, you know. Um, Carl, your monkey news is of spurious tales from the 17th century sometimes, <laughs> so let's have one of those. No, it's let's have a monkey that, who dressed as Zorro and they thought he was uh, a woodsman, but when they took his head off he was only he was a four foot hairy <laughs> chimp. Let's have one of those ridiculous stories. Well, we've, we've done that though. But, uh, do you want to go back on some of the ones? Oh, for sort of just recap, what is the know, monkey uh, news? There must have been some monkey news this right. week. The only thing that sort of stood out, do you know, like, they're having problems. You're just making this up. I'm where's not... your information? Where's the piece of paper? Where's the document? What is this? Because I've been away, so I haven't got right, anything. Let's just hear, let's, let's, let's hear But let's it's hear bad him enough out. when he's reading it, he gets it wrong. When he's just riffing, it's going to be absolute twaddle. Let's hear it out. Right. Do you know, like, they're having problems getting you. New um, people to be policemen. Oh, for <laughs> go on. They've uh, in America. They're taking them on to uh, sort of join the SWAT team. <laughs> they've taken what on? Some little monkeys. Okay. Uh, giving them walkie talkies and all that. And uh, well, they can't talk. <laughs> they're just walkies. Did I? <laughs> <have> to... <laughs> yeah, giving them some walkies. What do you no, mean? What? Just what was being given commands and that? And, uh, they go. Well, so it's one way. They they tell them they've got the little thing well, strapped to them. They're good at, like, getting into small, sp or some sort of, you know, small places and that, and sort of, you know, cracking stuff and all that. Like I say, it's just half a story I just picked up on. That's not a story! Well, what do you want? Monkey news! <laughs> okay, so monkey news, please. Alright, alright then. <laughs> Let's hear the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right. <laughs> Now, before, before <laughs> oh, I again, to... and again. Go on. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Brilliant. All right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the, he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> and then remember? he nicked the robber's loot and backed out. Yeah. With a gun. Yeah, he sort of stole- he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He took he weapons, he took all the weapons, there was like a couple of robbers. He managed- because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, now what was that- that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he- no, no, no. So, um, so the follow-up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo, 
Right. Uh, right, Carl, you're talking such a you, Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out of the official Imagine thing. if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't it wouldn't happen. I don't want to- I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go, get him, he's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates? His monkey mates, so they've all got a couple of guns <laughs> each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, <laughs> mate. I cannot Just stand it. Honestly, I want to scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to- do him, a, do him a deal. He said, how about if- uh, I'm going, tell him that, I'm right. not going, now I can't. Step out for a moment. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, it's don't ridiculous. listen, step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I need to hear, I need to well, hear the I'm end of this. Now, this yeah. is monkey news, this is right. important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room, he cannot, he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money mm. and they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we'll give you some cash. Yes. And they go. <laughs> sorry, that, well, hang on. Sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. The monkeys who have got the two hundred fifty thousand pounds. Right. Say to the zookeepers, "We'll sort you some money out if you let us go." So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, "We'll give you some money." Yeah. You don't see any problem with that. Right. Listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. Right. I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. You go. What do you mean the monkeys what? say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like kind of going, "Look, you know, we'll do your deal." Right. Okay. Come on. Um. And what happened is, I think, uh, I think that I think they were happy with that. I think they left, and that was that. They they, they wanted to get out of the zoo because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right. I, I don't. Uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl. Think. Right. How did they get out in the first place? This one. Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed, he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no- If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I- I've got a- I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> I think it's escaped from the Planet of the Apes, I'm not certain. It could be beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right, what, I mean, Carl, think, think, please think, right? So this, this monkey, right, he leaves the zoo, right? He, so he leaves the zoo, which he can do, presumably, what, they leave him the keys or what? They're chatting to him, they might as well. He goes to a bank, what, what's he, what's he thinking of doing? Sees a robbery, probably by chance. He probably wasn't tipped off, was he? Or has he got one of those police scanners? Probably got one of those police scanners. Well, he? I think he was going to the bank to get a mortgage to uh, build a, a lot. Sorry, I think he wanted an extension, didn't he, on his uh, cage? Think of that. And so he, I love the fact that he hands out the guns and they do a deal. <laughs> it's uh, honestly, <laughs> you've got the best. You've got the best mind working on radio today. It's incredible. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's excellent. been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that. Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me twenty quid. Yeah, well, that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's there's, there's one in there. New music, new music, new new monkey news <laughs> from last September. <laughs> You're a lord. Come on, waster, please, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this this monkey in uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey, and uh, <laughs> you're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to <laughs> sort of, they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. <laughs> 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 well, you know, the, yeah, the, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like- <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just gossiping. I understand. So, uh, what's uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know. Just, tune in. What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on, it was from last September. Go so on. they were, um, they were, st you know, stood there having a chat, and the zookeepers were like, "I wonder if they're ever going to, you know, have kids and that." Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages. You know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so what the zookeepers did was, they uh, they said, "I know how they'll have kids." Are we letting that go? Come they on. were just chatting. Are we just letting just, that go? Letting it you know go. what I mean? They, I mean, just. Doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So, um, so yeah, so the zookeepers were like, 
Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids. Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do, t to sort of do to egg them on. Yeah. Um, bought them, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. Shut up, Jervais. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of got, this. They got, they got married. So and, they got married? Uh, yeah, they got married. Right. What, that's the end of it! That's- This is why I don't- Right, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news! <laughs> that's the end of monkey news! Don't do that again, you've got no features left! Why don't you like that? Well, it's just not a story! See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids. And come on, they got married. That's the end of the story. What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you mean you didn't make a mistake? Shh, wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts. So they, they, they bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? encourage just, him. Just to and it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa, it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> Play record. You got no features left. Have you got anything interesting about a monkey or an ape so we can do chimpanzee that? I know something that a lot of other people will know, but I'll I'll Well, well let's do it then. Chimpanz chim what's it called again? Where should we do a jingle? Well <laughs> do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh chimpanzee that <laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's the interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about um this monkey ages ago. <laughs> of course. Uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. What do you mean do I know it? Oh, now it down. Loads got... of chimps are caught with woodbines. Right. He got loving... caught having a fag. So it was sent to court. <laughs> and, uh. Well, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did he get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent and get it 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. Because it was, it was... Go back a minute, wait a minute, well, 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 No, well. I don't know the that's, that's as much as I know, so there's no point questioning That is as much as you know, isn't it? Yeah. Quite literally. <laughs> Sorry, but why did he go to prison? Uh, it's, it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag, wherever <laughs> In a built up area. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if he got it himself? Even if it just. What about if it, if it earned it himself, just like moving tires round or mucking mucking out the zebras? I don't know the full story. That's you don't know the full story, do you? But do you think. <laughs> you never do, do you? I presume you? it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad because I just Carl, thought, well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like the, where I got it from. And you Trump can... Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just? Uh, <laughs> and he, he did. Okay then. Oh, chimpanzee that. Another one next week. I don't think so. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. Right. There's this uh, card game going on. Right. <laughs> In uh, in the uh, <laughs> a, a, a big hotel in uh, in Vegas, right. right? The Lux Luxor Hotel in Vegas. Yeah, uh, there's a major car game. All the all the big players and that sure. were uh, were involved. Mm. Right? They're all invited. Mm. Anyway, so they all uh, they all meet up in this dark room at the back of the. Oh, <laughs> there we <laughs> go, dark room. Dark room. But hairy fella. So, so, it was, uh, it was brilliant at poker. I yeah. say it's a it's a big game, and that everyone's been waiting for it. So it's played in the back room, not not in the main entrance bit, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I say, it's dark in there and what have you, and and the players went in. There was already someone sat in there, right? Right. But uh, they couldn't, they couldn't, couldn't quite <laughs> see. Was him. he a short, hairy bloke with slightly <laughs> longer arms than legs? <laughs> couldn't see him. Where, is, it... where, where are his arms slightly longer than his legs? Couldn't see him being dark. Was he uh, holding his hand of cards with his feet? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, oh, so the cards were dealt, right? Cards yeah. were dealt. Games going on. <laughs> his cards with his feet. Game, game went on for hours, right? Was... No, no one's listening. We, no, the th terrible thing is that not even we're listening to I Carl know, now. I know. No, no one, literally, no one is listening it's so to Carl. insulting. Car there was a lot of smoking going on. It's right? going on. A lot of eating, a lot of eating and nuts going on. <laughs> that was a bit weird because they don't normally get through as many, but for, for this night. <laughs> 
So, um, <laughs> come on, let's just play, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you maybe Christmas time. Goodbye. Yeah, right. Chimpanzee that monkey news. Okay, monkey related news from Clara Pilkington. Right, uh, do you know the monkey that went into space? Yeah. Yep. It happened in 1958. Right. Now you know that. Yeah. Yes. What did he do next? What, what did, what did the monkey next? do next? Yeah. One appearance on uh, Celebrity Squares and it was like forgotten. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, cut a no novelty record. Yeah, well, just I'll like Rick Waller. I'll tell you what happened. He, uh, <laughs> he got back. <laughs> no, <that's not. laughs> like, heroes welcome. NASA sort of said, you know, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's where a lot of people think think you know it all ended. Sure. Yeah. But NASA were like, well, hang on a minute. We spent he's a trained. lot of time. We've trained him up and stuff. So he's like, you know, he's saying, sure, sure. You know, I've learned a lot. I've still got it all. I've kept it all. I know what to do. So they said, right, we'll use you. So he turned into like a bit of a trainer. <laughs> we want to send you out on the top of an organ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put on this little bellhop, I <laughs> Could you smoke fags? <laughs> yes. I'll have a go. So, it was- they were getting in new monkeys. You know, the- the main man at NASA was saying, can you teach these the same? He's going, of course I can. Do you know what I mean? I remember it all, I know what's going on, I'll tell them what button to press, what to do in emergencies, that sort of thing. Um, it was technically, sort of, employed by the army. Right, can, can I just, can I just fit in here? I, I, I don't know the story, Carl, and I, I might embarrass myself here, you've got an army of people out there that have probably sent me, uh, an equally, um, deranged email from a different website, but I'm pretty sure when they sent the monkey into space, it was to monitor his f physiology. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> press any buttons or learn to dock or take off. <laughs> it's just, it was just the effects of weightlessness and space on, um, basically a primate. I'm pretty sure he was tied in with electrodes to mm. his head. Mm. So, yeah. well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I could be proved, but on. even if that were the case, and he had learned to press one or two very basic buttons. Definitely not. Definitely but not. Even if it were the yes. case, I'm definitely pretty certain not. they wouldn't have brought him back to train up Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> right, definitely. Go on, but go him on. going, Neil, what are you going to say when you come out there? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I was thinking of just saying, hello, <laughs> I'm on the moon. Hello, it's made of cheese. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't what say about, that. I've noticed that you've got little legs, yeah. right? But mankind stepped forward. Well, how could I put that? I was just going to say, hello, I'm on the moon. It's great to be no, here. I wish you no, were here. I've got things so Hi, mum. Yeah, go on. Anyway, basically, he got back. They sorted him out with a nice pension. Mm. He was happy. Um, because of, like, the rank that he got, he- the, he was like, you know, he had loads of, uh, medals and stuff, he said, right, we'll make him a colonel. He got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. like I say, he got a pension, um, that was the end, he died in 1969, he was uh, buried with his wife. He passed away. <laughs> his wife! <laughs> I'm sure- I'm sure it just goes on to a different website. <laughs> yeah. About something completely different. And yeah, you're like, talking about Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! His page is missing. Oh, dear. So. Well, that- w Carl, I'm- like, if someone could call in, did they train Lyca the dog to sort of like, you know, dock and re-entry? He never made it back, did he, Lyca? Well, they didn't out. bother. We'll they didn't week. even bother. Didn't bother him they back. just sent him up there and then they didn't have technology to bring him back and they just went, yeah, that's there. That's brilliant. Well, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, amazing. Really? Yeah. What do you think of that, Carl? Rubbish, isn't it? Sort of brought it down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but the little monkey made a colonel. Hero. Big hero. What was he in? What craft was he in? Uh, Sputnik. Just hang on a minute. He was in, um, Jupiter AM. Yeah. Let me see that piece of paper. Yeah, I, I, I can guarantee there's nothing there about his- his training other than let's hope he's not sick on the control panel when we shoot him up at <laughs> 400 Gs. <laughs> oh dear. That's, that's I love funny. the fact that you think that this monkey was a high- <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do, do <laughs> you- when, when you think of these things that are listening to the monkey's face, do you think of the planet of the apes? Like they're sort of talking, sort of chimps and gorillas, and they're they're in tunics on horseback <laughs> with snub-nosed rifles. <laughs> what do you think of? Just a little monkey getting on with it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his job. He knows what he's got to do. He gets on with it. <laughs> Look, he's pressed the button. Watch him press the button. This takes me back. Do you remember 1965? I think it was. We're going to use him to train other DJs. <laughs> <laughs> That's it then. Goodbye. Ooh, thanks. Well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey!
Monkey News. <laughs> uh, excellent. So, Monkey News time on XFM. Carl Pilkington, the man in the hot seat. Carl, what have you got for us? Okay, uh, Monkey News this week. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Um, <laughs> now, do you know, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. <laughs> it's, it's not called a manicure, though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty then, treatments. Yeah. Right? It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well, look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well, that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <laughs> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just. It's <laughs> like a couple of chips. Just... Of course, it's not. No, 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 it is. Because think about it. Right? <laughs> no, not think about it. If... What do you mean? Yes, it is. Of course, it's not run by a couple of chimps. What do they do? Get a loan. Right. If a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest, yeah. Where would you go to a place that's run by humans that don't? What don't they don't know what chimps' needs are? No. My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr <laughs> and Mrs Chimp went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what we need, a spa. I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> but they've chimps expanded over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> they've all, <laughs> Go! They've, they've I all don't know. about it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't <laughs> even the, the top and bottom of it, right? <laughs> Christ. The I problem don't... is... It's been going on and on and on, right? It's been- it's been earning a lot of money and stuff, the monkeys are happy, the monkeys that go there are loving it, they're telling friends and stuff, they're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the- the problem is, it's this little, uh, little monkey, little man monkey and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship, they can play around if they want. Well the problem is, they're not married, right? <sighs> now- Some Trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is, because it's his name that's down on all the- all the Carl, stuff. Carl, uh, uh, so let him I finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, his- his missus is kind of like, what's gonna happen? Sure. What are, you getting, this, where are you getting this from? What are you- Internet. Carl, <laughs> I don't know where to start. No. This is the- this no, is just, the, uh, Can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So the problem is, the 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 female girl, monkey is worried that the male she's, monkey she's is going to die. What's going to happen with gonna the happen? business? What's going to happen? Of course, right now. What do you mean the business? The 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 health that is spa. the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's name. It's in I, his name. Uh, the, now the problem is, oh, the woman f- monkey has got some kids, but because they're not bro- blood relatives, it's not going to be handed down to them. And the court, well, they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage. Yeah, right. Uh, so that they're not going to get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't want to check the facts. Otherwise, yeah. you could look like a twat or t- spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. And they're, they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they where they've got the the uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in it, which case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there, they've seen the success of it. Sure. And they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So. Give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play a record. That's the worst, that's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. Play the jingle. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. Right. Um, Come on. Come on. It should be ready, Carl. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's the, uh, Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, ooh, the bomb. No, well, no, that's not the first. Um, Come on! No, but it's always difficult, isn't it, to, to sort of find something that's good each week, right? Last week, 
We did the chimp. It is for us, yeah. The, it, we had the chimps who were running a health spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, we've covered the one who, who nicked a car to go on to Spain. Yep. To wow. sort his future out. All, all shite. Uh, the hairdresser. I think he's just, you know, we've done that one, the little monkey hairdresser. This week yeah. we're looking at monkeys, um, that they're using- <laughs> they, Do you know like monkeys, they, 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 they know- they know how like- I've lost the will to live, Steve. Oh well I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Quick, right. but, well, come on, just come on. What are monkeys good at? What are monkeys good at? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, running small businesses, <laughs> cutting people's uh, hair, and very good cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right? Is like weighing up the situation. <laughs> If you stick them in a- in like a- a field with loads of like obstacles on it, right, they're good at sort of, yeah, I can get over that, and I can climb over that, I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere, I've thought- oh, Somewhere! Come on. I've thought we can use that, we can use that skill, right? What? And what- what- the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test. Yeah. And the ones that <laughs> score above 80, Right. Get to produce this show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> <laughs> right. How do they join the army and what do they do? They just, um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them, they do that, they do a cross country run, they do, um, the a cross country test. run? Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Long, yeah. Slightly yeah. longer arms, shorter legs than usual, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, basically then they taught how to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh, You're talking rubbish again. <laughs> this- this came- this came through literally, you know, pretty late- late on, so- So you've not had a chance to corroborate all the facts, as usual? Just have a look. <laughs> right, uh, it's the intro- the bit I'm looking for is, well, A, why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Yeah. Why do we need monkeys in the army? And, secondly, why are we giving them guns? I'll yeah. just check to see if any of that- I love the fact we only let guys in recently. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, just have a look. I can't read it. I, there's too much pressure. But I it's to rubbish. Have just, have a, just have a. But it's rubbish. Around. They don't get. It's, again, it's the way that there are things. That, that, that you, there are there are animal cores, right? There are horses. There are dolphins, sea lions. Uh, you know, there are lots and lots of animals in the army, but they don't have to pass. <laughs> an obstacle test, as such, and they're not taught to fire guns. We'll you straight away assume that they're gonna be- there's gonna be uh, loads of squads of men, and then just one little monkey in the middle. <laughs> like, you know, he did- he came second on the test. He's in. <laughs> He's in, boys. What do you think, Steve? You've- you've read it? Well, as ever, Carl, this is an arbitrary email sent by one of our listeners. You know what Ricky and I think of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we're not really basing this on hard evidence, we're basing it on the ramblings of one of our listeners. Rubbish. Once again, lazy, rubbish, uncorroborated, nonsense, the stupid test that you got wrong. Rick, that <laughs> sounds like monkey news to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cue up the jingle. Hang on. All right. Perfect. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right. Uh let's have a look. This one's from, uh, <sighs> from some woman, right? Yeah. And she's, um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride. Right. Mm. Lovely day, weather's good and everything. What year? She's, uh, just a couple, a couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training. <sighs> Right, done all the training and stuff. Right. Uh, got a brand new bike for it. Got a little puncher outfit and stuff. All set for the day. Right, it's a nice day. She sets off. They all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton. Yeah. Right, so she knows the route and that. Got a little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right. Okay. I'm stopping now. Um, if 
uh, a cyclist overtakes her, <laughs> and it's going really fast, and it's sort of hunched over, but it's got, like, lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles, and they can't tell what it is, but they just know it's, a, like, a, uh, little hairy, um, fella, um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs, which is weird, isn't it? Because cyclists usually shave their legs, and this guy had really hairy legs. But, um, and it won. They gave it the medal. It won three years running. They gave it the key to the city. Uh, it had its own game show. And then well, someone said, hold on, though, this fella's all hunched over, and he's only three foot five, and his arms are longer than his body. Uh, it's a chimp! If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. Norman well, can use next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And, uh, this tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that! <laughs> There's oh. always one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it. Little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just go on then. Well, the tricycle comes whizzing, whizzing past, whizzing past yeah. him. Yeah, strong legs, isn't they, Jims? So, she's thinking that's- but didn't get a chance to see the thing. Oh, yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> <laughs> you- oh, God! You bald mank git. Go what? on. Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. So, <laughs> so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And um, they got talking. That's it. It was a nice day, nice race, and all that. <laughs> Said, so, did you see uh, a little little thing on a tricycle? Thing? Well, it was, well, well, person, surely just a human. Did you see that? No. Did you see that bloke on the tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out. Yeah. Well, what did you say? Thing. Well, no, was, well, was there's no suspicious. I mean, what did you say? Did you see that fellow on a tricycle? <laughs> Anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. <laughs> Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um- <sighs> We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, okay, I'll I stop you there mention. again. Right? If it turns out she doesn't lose, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our <laughs> chimp, it used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing <laughs> no, it- no, no, no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. Yeah, sure. She didn't- I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, Turns out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. What's up? Because now the owner of the chimp wants to enter it into the Tour de France. <laughs> Oh God! In, uh, oh, in 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. Go oh God! How Steve, help me out. How did it get hold of the tricycle? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. That's, that's, that's not an important know. point. Look, that's important. How What's the it... with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to? How, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle? But more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride? On following, that day? Just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and so <laughs> forth. Oh. <laughs> no, he hadn't. It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in 2005. No, it doesn't. Um, but there's something about animal rights. If if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> It's cruel to make a chimp ride a bicycle. Not, Not that it's to. prejudice that it'll go, is it because I is hairy? You idiot! What? So. Wow, that is the worst. That is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f- Right. Now, uh, it was back in the 1980s. Right. So it's quite topical then. Mm. Um, okay. When did this happen then? 1980s? Yeah. Yeah. It's about a, uh, Colombian F1 sort of, form you know, Formula One driver. Yeah. Uh, apparently these races were going on, right, and, uh, someone kept winning them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, okay, forget it. Forget it. No, don't do it. It's cause it's <laughs> rubbish. Cause it's rubbish. Right, so someone kept winning the races. So, uh, uh, this, this, um, this someone, this, this human, um, that kept winning the races. Th so this human being that kept winning the races, um, Carl, what was his name? Um, his name is it? It's Jimmy something. Yeah. What? How tall is he? Well, just something interesting. No, 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 uh, he kept winning and everyone was like, oh, he's brilliant, this guy, who is he, and all that. Yeah. But his gimmick 
Right. Was never showing- sh never showing his body that's or right, face? That's right, that's right. Never you're took joking. his helmet off. <laughs> you are a- you're an idiot. Never took his helmet off, right? You know- you know the short trousers he used to wear? <laughs> the, you, know, his, you know his trousers were about a foot long, but his shirt- the, the sleeves were really long! Anyway, right, so because he wouldn't take his helmet off- and You're he an idiot. He was in- he was taking part in like yeah. the F3. Which is like the lower ranks yeah. of Formula One and that. Just get to it. Just get to it. Everyone to thought it was like a, a famous driver yeah. who was Just taking part get, in that. Get to being a monkey. Anyway, what happened on. was, uh, there was a crash one day. Yeah. And the car tipped over, everyone's like, oh. He ran up a tree? So. <laughs> they were suspected when he ran away with the ambulance people up a tree and started eating a banana? So the marshals ran over and the ambulance people were there and they yeah. were about to take his helmet off and the marshal was like, don't take his helmet off. Yeah. Give away the secret that he's a monkey. Give away the secret yeah. and that. Yeah. Chimp. Yeah. Took his helmet off. Jimmy Chimp. Jimmy Chimpers. <laughs> Little monkey under there. No, definitely not. Okay, let's play Ryan Alonso. Did, did he survive? He? Let me yeah. just cover questions. Did he survive? Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, he, he, he was allowed to keep all the awards that he won. Sure, but he wasn't allowed to take part in any other races. Yeah, didn't happen. Uh, this is Ryan Adams. Uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, let's do monkey news. All right, play uh, the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Uh, right. Is this monkey? Right. Oh yeah. I think his name was number six or number seven or something, right? In this in this lab, right? Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's in there <laughs> with like you know the rabbits and little mice and stuff like that. And uh, the, the rabbit smoking. The nurse, right? The nurse, not well, not the nurse. The the, the woman who works in the lab. What would you call her? A nurse. Depends. What was, what turns out her job was? She was a lab assistant. You call her a lab assistant. Right. I mean, they probably call her by her name. All right, lab assistant, right? Kirsty. So, uh, so I think it's Ker probably Kirsty. Right, Kirsty well, Morris. Well, she's in there, right? Yeah. And she don't work with many people, and that she's mainly on her own with you know just putting lipstick on rabbits and stuff like that, right? Chimp fancies it. So uh, <laughs> <coughs> chimp fancies it. He's putting on lipstick. Chimp fancies it. She's got hairy legs. He gets he gets pally, right? <laughs> with with this woman yeah. because. You know, it, 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 it gets to a point when she sees him every day. <laughs> she, like, <laughs> <laughs> the way he tries to string out like it's a narrative love story. Le Did the, ch the chimp put its hand out and grabbed her and then you thinking that he made a move on her? So, right, come on, he's allowed out, he's allowed out oh, it's cage. not a story, is it? He's allowed it's out the cage and what have you yeah. every day, so, um, he's wandering about and as time goes on he's watching what she's doing more and more, yeah. right? So, he, he notices like, the code on the door, right? <laughs> right. She, whatever, two four seven or whatever. Yeah. He goes right. I've clocked that. I've got yeah. that. I'll remember that, right? Yeah. And Ooh. then he goes right. There's a Definitely lot of lipstick not. and that knocking about. A lot of makeup. Right. Okay. Let no. No. There's Let no him way. Finish. No. Because so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's right? ridiculous. And he's going well. If it's there, you know what I mean. So, so while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there. He's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> right? You no, bit of, it's bit, gone too far. No, it's gone too far, Steve. Right, Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right. the story. So, Turn mine off as well. It's gone too far. Turn him off. Just let him finish. Right, so the thing is, right, it's this monkey wandering about. It's got lipstick, it's got mascara on, it's looking pretty good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking alright, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, right, he goes, right, here's my chance. It's looking good. Two four seven out the door through the reception. The reception man's there. He's like, "All right, Kirsty, right?" <laughs> don't talk shit. You know what it is now, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> right now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online. Right? I didn't no. have the internet, so it's like, "Oh, what am I going to do?" And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought, "Is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff?" I was hoping to get some from. The zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So I said to my dad, "Do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys?" Brilliant. <laughs> this is a, no. This is what Trevor McDonald does. <laughs> Turned out, he cuts quarter to ten. He goes, <laughs> oh, sh <I'm> "Nothing." <laughs> dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news. I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Turned out, one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, you, sorry, yeah, mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched living in Manchester-like, <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp, um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> For doing what? Answering back? 
<laughs> oh God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> Trying it on with his wife. I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh, I'd call him up, but he's one of them who like swears all the time. Right. Oh, I mean, it'd be good. It'd be good to get him on. And just, let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear. And I'd love to hear his story. Do a lot of work. That. Yeah. Well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work. No, I'll I mean, Steve, I'll, I'll get know. myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah. Oh, you know, I so. have a word. I have a word. I'll sort it out. Yeah. Try yeah, and sort that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story then. Let's let him say in his own. No, words. but there was another one as well. Uh, some. When fella... you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but there's him, and there's some other fellow he knows who had a funny name. I'll have to find out because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And. uh I think he said he went- my dad went round one day, I don't know why, right? Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where- this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answered! <laughs> is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answering the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No, sure no, it wasn't, wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on, um, then. This, this is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news extra! <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> right, uh Another phrase, we've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't yeah. Don't your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh Don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimp pass the door if you're tucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it? Really, mm -hmm. I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Doctor Fox? Doctor Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, he, he must have wanted to scream and go, "You shouldn't be in the Radio Authority." My parents listen online. I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, long time ago, right? Yeah, in the uh, olden days. Yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Having a good life. Cool. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? <laughs> so, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load <laughs> of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry, I just, uh, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon Either your dad's been around, or is it? This isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out <laughs> it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island, from the rough bit. <laughs> 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 from the rough bit. From the rough bit. I love it. Like we, they went into a middle class area. Oh, oh, the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> Is brilliant. From a rough part of the island. <laughs> so the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah, yeah, of course, and they carry chains. <laughs> so I love all this conjecture. They got flip knives and this tattoos. Yeah, go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business <laughs> with the bananas. This is shit. This is Right, Carl, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh God! What do you mean this is? It? Forget it. No, forget don't it. forget it. Carl, do not miss that. Switch the record off. Oh, switch the record off. Christ. Switch the record off, Carl. What, what are you talking about? What do they do? Oh, let's do business right. with the bananas. Yeah. So they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll we'll flog them. <laughs> So that put a stop to it then. The people, the monkeys came, they didn't have money. They said, give us some, you know, give us some bananas. Um, and it says, uh, So what, they exchanged bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business. 
No, it's Comes no. from a little business no. to set up. All right, there, I've gone. Carl, you know what, you know what the time is? Bong. <laughs> Monkey news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Imagine if Trevor McDonald started like this. Yeah. There's, there's been a lot of stuff going on on that, with monkeys. Oh, yeah. I've also, I was mentioning earlier how we sort of making the grocer, the, the, gro the feature grow a bit, uh -huh. right? So, I'm thinking, oh, I haven't told you, Steve, either. I've actually been asked to write a thing about monkeys. A poem? A no, what? no, for a magazine called, uh, Something Apes. Right. They it want me to do, ape. they want me to do, uh, like a column, 500 words. About, about apes. About monkeys? Anything I want on monkeys. Anything. What are you gonna write? Don't know. If, you know, think about it. Well, give him a typewriter. I can't with <laughs> Shakespeare eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you could anyway, write about yeah. that. Why didn't you write about that? You don't. The fact that you don't believe it. You don't believe that an because, infinite number of monkeys because, could type because you Shakespeare. Because you reckon most of them hadn't read Shakespeare, so they wouldn't know the, some of the spellings. <laughs> exactly. It wouldn't happen. You idiot. Get on with it. All right. right. The uh, there's been a few things, but one that springs to mind is. Uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. <laughs> right. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh, Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh... I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Okay. Right? <laughs> 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 found a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. Go on. They're having a good chat, all right. They found monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about five hundred and thirty-four different words that they're using to like have a chat about. It's stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah. What do they chat about then? Just you know things that monkeys are worrying about. Just <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know. Who does your hair? <laughs> you going out with her again? Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were they discussing the humanity? Did you see that programme on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can walk up right. Yeah. That was good. But, I mean, what, Did you what see do you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um... Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorer was over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley? It wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. I always snod grass. Where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. All right, we've got to be quick. Go on. But, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing. Mm -hmm. Um, the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? <laughs> the lab fella was busy on the phone or something, yeah. right? And um, mm. typical. It's wandering about. It goes up to a, a PC that's in the corner, a little computer types down, my name is Marty, right? Mm. So the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Let right. him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him finish. Oh, I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come I on. He said, uh, he said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here, saying, my name's Marty, right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate, saying you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there typing. This isn't a practical joke. My name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story. Um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh, I, think we, I, think I, I think, think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Has he right, got his own website yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire is here. Have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a wind-up. 
It's a joke. It's not even- you haven't even got some of the facts wrong. It's just a wind-up. Have you noticed the date? Is it April the 1st? It is April the 1st. You are joking. That it was sent. You're an idiot, Carl. It was sent on April the 1st, Carl. So you're saying the monkey knows it's April the 1st, but you're not doing a wind-up? Yes. Yeah, I think the- I think the monkey is, has thought, I'll do it on April the 1st so that people think that it's a wind-up, but in actual fact I am a monkey that can type and read. Right, haven't got long, we better give the winner. We got monkey news coming up. We haven't really got any monkey news. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you there's, mean? There's nothing going on, seriously. Don't talk- what do the you mean? The last few weeks I've but been telling you- But don't- no, no, that I- uh, Right, right. This really annoys me when you say there's something going on. Because you call it monkey news, but it's not yeah. monkey news. You have stories of uh, dubious well, stories- I've shut up a minute. About chi- it's always chimps, which annoys me when you call it monkey, because they're apes, right? And it's often from the 18th century. Mm. So it's not news anyway. So don't tell me there's no monkey no, news this week. No, what I'm saying is if there's monkey news worth doing, I'll know about it. <laughs> And there isn't anything, right. so let's leave it. Right, okay, you are gonna give me some monkey news, well, me, or- Okay, right, right I'll tell you, I'm telling you, you are gonna give me some monkey news, or we're not leaving. Right, well, my mum sent me some. Right? right. I got a little letter from her doing the usual sort of stuff, telling me what she's been up to and that. Uh, it was a little thing about, uh, somewhere in Lincolnshire or something. Right, good. To do a bit of, uh, do a bit of monkey throwing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Because some fella got attacked by one once. And sort of to remember him, on this certain day they go, oh, it was today, wasn't it? And that fella got attacked by a little monkey and that. And the, uh, something about chucking monkeys about. That's horrible. I don't know if they're real, I think it's just like to remember. All right. But that's, that's the only sort of stuff that's knocking about out there. <laughs> but it's not, that one that's not I've got my mum and dad on it, looking all the time. <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> yeah, there must be more monkey news than that. There isn't nothing going- I mean, there's- there's bits and pieces. There was a bit about Donna Air, how when she has a kid she's gonna let a gorilla look after it for a week or something. But apart from that, it's- that's it's dead out true. there. That's probably true. Well, I don't know what that means. She's, uh, well that's it. Apparently, well, it's not uh, true. She's not gonna let a gorilla look after a no, child. No, it is. Apparently a, a fella works with them or something, and, uh- This is rubbish! It's not rubbish. How can she let a gorilla look after a baby for a week? Well, forget it. So, have you ever heard her speak? <laughs> Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, this, uh, this happened in, uh, Pittsburgh, right? Uh, there was a rock band, and, uh, they sort of, they've got this studio in, in Pittsburgh and what have you, mm. and they're laying down tracks and stuff like that. And in the, in the studio that they use, right, there's this, uh, this monkey works there. Right, cool. <laughs> I love the way he throws that in. Like, cool, like, cool. like, he throws that in, this monkey works there. No, it's just got a little gig there, he sort of, uh, it, mm. it carries the equipment in, guitars, stuff like <laughs> that. He doesn't! He does. No, uh, he doesn't. He just sort of cleans up after the bands. No, yeah, he doesn't. Emptying the ashtrays. Doesn't that happen. Sort of stuff. Doesn't does, happen. That's, that's the gig it's got. Anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gets women out of the crowd that they want to, uh, go <laughs> visit with. With one arm. Drag drag them back. So anyway, right, so the, the band's in the studio. Studio, yeah. right? And uh, one of the band members brings some A and R fella to the studio to have a listen to the latest track. Right? Yeah. So they hit play, and uh, <laughs> you know, they're all there going, "Yeah, brilliant! This is good." Oh no! Anyway, so the fella says, "Yeah, I like the track. I uh, especially like the, the bass on it." Right. <laughs> right it's, cause this is bullshit. So this uh, is rubbish. So so. And they hadn't laid down a bass. So track? so so this is. Have you heard it? <laughs> So the weird, the, Carl, the weird please thing don't is, do right, this to so me. So the A and R fella goes, and yeah. it's like uh, it, the band members are stood about, and they're going, "That's good that he liked it." And they're saying, "Yeah, but what's he on about with the bass?" So no, it, this is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. Where did you get this from, please? Because we never Where get to the end. Get, this here, this is it? absolute so, nonsense. So they played it back. Yeah, right? and it's the chimp playing bass. So, Definitely not. So they were like. That's weird, we haven't got a bassist. Anyway, so they go, well, whatever, right? So we haven't leave. got a bassist! <laughs> yeah. so, they so, go, whatever, let's go Oh, home. forget it. <laughs> Play the jingle. Uh, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A particularly aggressive jingle this week. Wow. Yeah, looking forward to this monkey news. <laughs> Carl. Right. Come on. So, what's the name? What? There's done- <laughs> Sorry, what, what, what? What? Brilliant. We've done, uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who, like, got involved in crime and stuff. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right? We had, uh, the one on the train station, yep. nicking a bag. Yeah. We had the one who went to a bank. 
Who cares? <laughs> Went into a bank. <laughs> And walked out with the money and stuff. Yes. Right? Didn't happen either. No. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them. If they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime Oh, just monkey news update! <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is... Yeah. They've got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you mean- you mean wild animals? You mean- A zoo? Yeah, yeah. A zoo or a kennel or no. something that where they've- they've- they has been, mm. uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. Yeah, it's a prison. is it- is it- does it have fraud cases? It's got- it's I bet, mainly- I, I, mainly sort of animals that are attacked things. It's mainly violence, I bet. That's my- That and- uh, that and theft. Say it again? Stuff. Theft. <laughs> say it again? Theft. Say it again? Robin. Uh, no, let's go back to the, 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 that word. We're gonna keep doing it. You've got- we've got Robin. six minutes. You're gonna say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, you say it. No, well, you no, say it then you know how to say it. Well, alright, Robin then. It's been caught Robin. Say it again though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So, uh, they've got this <laughs> prison, <right? laughs> This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not gonna say it? No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And, uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys. Right. That are in there for life. <laughs> Cause that's- the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off for the there's eleven, there's eleven, I'll give you the bit of paper cause I thought this was- <laughs> now, you, th you thought it was a bit weird. Now Carl, what, uh, what are they in there for then? Cause I mean they're in there for life so I'm Robin, assuming it's murder, Robin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Premeditated murder? <laughs> they're not- they're not crime bosses, are they? They're not- are not they the, are they the prostitution and gambling? Are you sure they're not the just the pawns and the and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree going Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> 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 if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery. <laughs> I wonder, if, I wonder if they get them. <laughs> right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just <laughs> the ba back of a fag packet found in the toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly- if, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort because it does open with the headline, Parole unlikely for inmates of monkey prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Officials <laughs> say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail. Officials? Now, what kind of people <laughs> work at a monkey jail? <laughs> where do you work? <laughs> Um, uh. it says officials say eleven inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the Daily, uh, the, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Monty Bar blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for eighteen months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All eleven monkeys. They were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing them up. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials believe part of the problem has been caused by thieves training monkeys to help them. Lorry drivers training monkeys as guards for vehicles and itinerant entertainers oh, using ill treated so monkeys as and part it's of the, their It's act. the monkey that takes the rap. It's a shame, that isn't that it? That is awful. They didn't know what they were doing, did they? Oh, so there you go. What do you think of that though, Carl? What would you- what would, if you- if you could visit them, like Lord Longford or something, what would you- what would you say to them? You go there and they- you, they, you get a visit a week or something, you know? So can you get us a video? <laughs> 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 Alright. Have we got, got monkey news? Have we left monkey news behind? Monkey news! Come on! What happened? You can't offend monkeys! I'll tell you what is annoying. What? Steve's told me about a film that is about a monkey going off with a woman. Mm. The Charlotte Rampling thing where she It's a film takes... called Max Monomour. Yeah, she has an affair with a monkey. Go on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You wouldn't like don't it. Go, we can't go into you it. You wouldn't like monkeys. it. You wouldn't like it. It's not- it's not like- it's- it's weird and it, you wouldn't- d Carl, it's not like a nature programme where he wears a bowler hat and can talk. Okay. The nature programmes that you <laughs> seem to <laughs> see. Yes, I'm trying to think I haven't seen that one. <laughs> yeah, no! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do monkey news. Well, monkey news this week. Play the jingle. Um, Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, ya f- Right, it's about this monkey that was knocking about in the 1950s. Right. Um, just, uh, mm. it was known in the sort of <laughs> LA area, right? Um, and apparently, um, again, I haven't really checked all this out, I've just picked up bits that, that look interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, wore a golden mask, 
and like a cape and a, a leopard skin belt and stuff, right? So people didn't know he, he was, was a monkey. monkey. Of course they didn't know, yeah. He just thought, they thought he was this bloke who's going around and he was helping out crime situations and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. So one, this disguise, that, that you see a, a, a three foot six bloke with arms the length of his body. No, well that's the funny thing, right? They knew, they sort of thought, it's a bit odd, you know, he's stocky, yet extremely flexible. Yeah, and hairy, cos he only wore a white mask and a belt. And a distinctive jawline and stuff. And then, uh, right. apparently, like, he used to sort of get to his- Nothing we say gets through, does it? You've- you've- you've decided you can picture this monkey going around going solving on. crimes and it's- telling you. Let him finish the story. Time's running Jeez. out. So it sort of get to its crime by, like, swinging from the trees and stuff. Of course stuff, it would, right? yeah. But people just thought, it's a normal fella. Of course. Then what happened was, he- This is the bit that's gonna annoy me, isn't it? He helped some fellas out, like, you know, and for a reward- for a reward, they were like, do you want some money? You know, you've- you've helped save our lives during a crime and stuff. Mm. Do you want some money in that? And he just went straight for the shopping bags, got a couple of bananas and apples, <laughs> right? And as he was bent down, looking into the bag, getting the bananas and apples, they pulled his mask off, little monkey. So he wasn't allowed to work for the police anymore? It, it ended there. Sure. Where well, yeah, no. Right, I'm 30 now. <laughs> I can only remember being off two times. Oh, his memory's going as well, you'll have to climb off. <laughs> and both of them were when I, when I was at school. One, school? What's one, school? One when it was windy. <laughs> what? Did yeah. you have time off because it was windy? But to be honest, Carl, that lasted no, no, for wait. seven years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time wait, off wait, at school. Wait. Why did you have time off because it was windy? Were you windy or was it windy outside? No, it was, it was a really, it was like when-, when Your auntie wasn't out of the window, was she? Yeah. When the winds were bad in the seventies and my mum said, oh- Was it- whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I remember space hoppers and flares, I don't yeah. remember the winds being bad in the seventies. <laughs> well, my, my mum just said, uh, you might get blown into the road, so don't- <laughs> <laughs> she had so much faith in you, didn't she? As a human being. Is that why she got fired from the pie shop? <laughs> I'm not coming in today, I might get blown into god, the room. The, oh god. The funny thing it was, right, Steve, they, they had this, this thing going at school, because a lot of people used to wag it back then. Right? Used to what? Wag it, sort of not go in. Yeah. Right. Right. And, um, they sort of tried to make it interesting for you by giving you a- An education. A certificate. <laughs> right. certificate if you yeah. did a full week. Re reward for the rest yeah, of your exactly, life with yeah. achievement. That right. sort of- that sort of carrot. And mm. also, like, let you go home at three o'clock on a Friday. Brilliant. Right. If, if you'd done a- like, a full week and that. Right? Yeah. Mm. So it was, uh, it was lovely weather all week. Then it just sort of changed on a Friday. <laughs> and I got off and it was all windy. It was windy says, for Friday on Sunday, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, don't- don't, you know, if you don't want, don't go in cos, you know, you might get blown into the road and that. So I said, alright, then I'll stay off. And, uh. Um, so why did you, uh, I told you to hold, hold on to a fence or yeah. walk you there? What's this don't go out <laughs> Immediately and you, like, give blown? up. I love this getting blown into the road. Is that based on your cats that kept getting blown into the road? Well, so I got to, got to school on the Monday, right? And the teacher said, Took right, long time. today, uh, to punish you, you're the only one who wrecked the whole week, right? Everyone else came in, you didn't. So everyone else is going home at three o'clock today. But you're not. Brilliant. Serves you right and uh, and- I wasn't bothered though, it was great cos I said, well, you'll have to stay with me, won't you? Brilliant. And it was great. So all I did for half an hour was doodle and stuff, it was great that afternoon. Yeah. And that, that was ages ago, that was like when I was about eight. And that's one of the times I was off ill. Yeah. So it was, but that wasn't even ill, that was wind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, right. yeah. So, I'm growing up on this estate. And there was a, there was this woman about four houses down, right, who's a bit rough, <laughs> all right? Didn't sound to you. Oh, God, no. Right, but she had a <laughs> Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she- It was a very- She looked like a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What does she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? clean up. Tattoos? Look like Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which- even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try well, and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did he get a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have still using horse for it. No. <laughs> what, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of leather? <laughs> right? 
I know. Oh, that's great. I did Big know. Jake. I'm <laughs> looking <laughs> for it. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or... <laughs> <laughs> Let <laughs> me get a oh. horse from. What do you mean he must have nicked it? He's going to say, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catelyn rustling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just, and how long did he have it for? Insult. Was he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> open the patio door as well. I mean. Looks like we got us a runaway. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think he had to... a horse. Yeah, right. So that's I... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. Exactly. No, I, I think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway, yeah, it's so... to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they it's could not, be in the room it's next not door. Buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh, so I, so I was like in the car with my dad coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to to our house. You had the traditional method of transport, okay. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper, just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is, what? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? This right. is and genius! <laughs> it just keeps coming. What do you mean you tried to flog little flowers? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let's play a story. record, let's play a record no. and come back to this, because the story's gonna just wait, unravel wait. and unravel. It's yeah, yeah. Hours. Let's it play gets a track, deeper Carl. and deeper, it's yeah, like an on, onion, Carl. isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the lounge. I, mean, I, I come just, from the West Country, I've never just, heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and it's got a, a rediffusion telly and this horse yeah. going, I'm fed up in here. Exactly. This is really... I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. Right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that line. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pot. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Well, Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Louis de Velvet Underground and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So. We were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and, uh, we got on to, uh, um, We got on to genetically, uh, genetically modified babies, but and somehow And then Carl started telling a story about someone with a horse, and then he got on to, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was... Because you live on an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's so relevant. You don't need to go that far. But, but you... But well, what I'm on. trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand... What, so what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Alright? Okay. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be Pauline Quirk. Does she have any tats? Does she have any tats? I've never got that close to her. Okay, alright. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from, I don't know where, there was a, I think there was some stables down the road or something. And they, they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did they, they get didn't caught? didn't have it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse no, in No, what there. happened was, I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity, right? For some local charity. And they said you can do anything to, to raise money and they came out with all these ideas and I thought, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget, well I don't know, I thought, forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money making over it. So, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked me ma'am for some, uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And, uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups. And, uh, got some soil out of the garden. Planted the, the, the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it. Selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Is there any? Yeah, so loads. So they w did you just cut- you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they wouldn't survive. <sighs> but I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. Because it's a bit rough. So, as I went- The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they been feeding me kitty cat. Yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where no carpet, <laughs> yeah. A yeah. horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. I looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay? Or in like a house with a Central you know, heating. Three piece suite and sure. a telly and that. <laughs> <laughs> telly and that <laughs> No, but I was saying this the other day. <laughs> and an Atari. Right? <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I didn't- I didn't go to school much cause me mum and dad had a caravan. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> no need, is there? No need when you've got that sort of fun at home. Yeah. I mean, used to just go away for weeks. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, honestly. Where's you used to go? Port Maddock. But- <laughs> 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 and, um, I, so you didn't go to school much? No, I, I did, but not as much as everyone else. No. How many holidays were your parents having? Oh, what, what, what was their income that they could- No, my dad used to work nights, and, uh, he used to travel back, cause to Manchester from Wales, it wasn't that far. And <laughs> Manchester he used to, do, to Wales? He used to do four on and four off, so, <laughs> me and my mum were, like, loving it. But what, what's- what, 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 Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port Maddock? Just down the road from Port Merion, where they filmed The Prisoner. Right. Also, so that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, location wise. So what did you do then? You you were in this little two berth caravan on the back of a, a Cortina estate. Right. Well, what was it? What was the car? I want the. It, what was Granada, it? Granada. Four Granada. Four Granada. What are we talking? Nineteen eighty. Yeah, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty five. Okay. And you in in the car down there? Da down there. <laughs> park up. Yeah. What was it? What what was Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port, Port Maddock. Maddock. I remember Ruth? It's just, oh yeah. Uh, it's just a holiday camp. Yeah. And at an arcade and a beach. I was wor I was loving it. Yeah. But, um, so, so of the 52 weeks of the year, let's assume, I don't know how many weeks you take off normally for holidays anyway, let's just say, I don't know, you go to school 45 weeks of the year maybe? Generally, most kids? No. Nah. Less. Bit less than that. 42. How many weeks would you say you actually spent in school? <laughs> well, how many weeks do you have off for summer? Well, we just, we'll work that out. That's what about we six off for summer, about four, three for Easter, about three for Christmas. Put it this way, I'm surprised they're not Welsh, to be honest. Right. So there was there more than was in Manchester. Did they not, did the school authority not come and check you no, out? No, they didn't. Didn't get Manchester, I suppose they didn't care, did they? Not really. Yeah. They're lucky you turned up at all. Why did you just turn up for the last day when you could take in your best toy? <laughs> did you just know that when you could take in any I game? Just, just play with everyone else's. Why, why, you know, I break my stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. Well, this point. answers a lot. This does answer a lot. The fact that you spent most of your time on the beach as a kid. Uh, teachers were no good at my school. We were right. talking about it yesterday. About so you were teaching them a lesson by going off <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. And uh, did you go to university? No. No, 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 no. Did you go to sixth form or college? No. When, when did you leave school? When I was about fifteen. Right. What? You just went on holiday and didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a job early, didn't I? Cause Where I was it? Port Maddock. Getting there. No, I was a printer. BM yeah. Print in Trafford Park. Have you ever seen like a bald pet? No. The, the, it's weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Because my mum, um, we had a cat, we used to get through loads of cats because we lived there. <laughs> oh god, it's starting early today, isn't it? What do you mean? It's Got only ten past one. Just what we lived are you doing? No, Running really a restaurant? We lived there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What do you mean? No, we lived on like a main road. Oh yeah. Right? So yeah. we used to get through a lot of them. My dad kept there saying, is. you know, stop wasting money. You know, we, it's it's not. Stop good. wasting money, not wasting yeah. cats. Right. So um, anyway, we had this cat that was ill all the time. Mm. And uh, <laughs> it's just bag of noodles, probably. <laughs> yeah, Emily, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm terrified. I'm going to witch house. Wrong. <laughs> oh God! Bloody hell! Wrong. Don't, so, don't let me go to the Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 for some reason it kept being sick all the time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. That's definitely nice. So my mum thought, kind of thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and she yeah. shaved it. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now I know, I know you're not vets in your family, but what correlation did your mum think there was between you being sick and shaving it? Because it kept being sick, and it was a pain to wash because it kept getting. So she up. wanted a dry wipe cat. So <laughs> why didn't she just varnish it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's weird, it's weird so, so, now, so now he's cold and sick? No, but do you, no, not, I mean, not all of it, she left sort of the back half, but sort of from, from its waist, sort of- I love that! Shave it cause it's sick on itself! Yeah. And, that uh, is it's, it was the weirdest looking thing, I mean, no, normally I like cats, I'm always like giving yours a stroke on the head and that. Yeah. But as soon as she did that, it was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't it. And then so now it's sick, cold, and hated. Yeah, I love. I, I Carl. It must have. I mean, the other cats must have been taking the mick out of it constantly. It's just making things worse. Did it get? I'm hoping that it got run over and was put out of its misery. No, I think it. I think it got all right that one. Or is that the? <laughs> yeah, it did get run over. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Ah! <laughs> oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. How many cats do you say you've got through? 
I'd say when I, whilst I was living at home, I mean it's, it's still on the increase even though I'm not there. <laughs> so I, whilst whilst I was there, probably five. God. Where? Oh. Yeah. And were you upset each time, or you just got used to it? It's it's one of them things, isn't it? Like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like the Elephant Man or whatever. <laughs> yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of oh, look at that. Did I tell you the time when uh, <laughs> the doctor said uh, I was going to die? All right, keep talking. Right, ages ago, um, must have been about fifteen, right? And uh, at lunchtime there was this. We used to have a choice of stuff to do at lunchtime, right? We used to have um, like a like a burger place that had an arcade machine in it, right? So we used to go there and play on that and have a burger, or there was this baker's, right, that my mum worked at, and uh, did great cakes and stuff, right? So, um, she used to, like, bring some home and that, but she couldn't always bring them home every night because, you know, they'd, they'd cost money and she used to get them for free. And they used to say they'd rather chuck them away than give them to the staff because there's a chance that the cream might be off. Right. Right, so they used to chuck them round the back. So I used to go round the back with my mate, and eat alone. Brilliant. Scavenger yeah. eating out of bins. <laughs> no, it was really- it wasn't out of bins, they were still in trays, but they just stacked them up near the bins, right? So this got out- I mean, it used to be a chocker. Uh, once the school found out, everybody used to go there and it'd be like, well, have a cake. <laughs> <laughs> master <Crawley Bill. laughs> fighting the kids off. <laughs> right, so I'd have a, uh, you know, you'd just eat, I don't know, six jam donuts or something, and then you'd spend your dinner money on the arcade machine. Brilliant. Right? So it was a good- good afternoon, really, right? So, you'd do that. And this one day, I must have had six or seven uh, jam donuts, a few Congress tarts. Uh, <laughs> What's a Congress tart? Just, I love them. It's me. I can't get them in London, right? So I'd have some of them. And if anyone can get a Congress tart um, for Carl in London, please let him know. So anyway, this day that that was just a normal day. Do you know what I mean? You'd once yeah. twice a week, you'd have a load of cake <laughs> in your life. Yeah, yeah a so normal anyway. day in your life. Uh, were, were the frog boys there with the with the <laughs> webbed hands and the big heads so, and the horse in the city? Uh, yeah. But the day after one of these days, I had really bad cramp in my belly. Right? Yeah. I was like in agony, could yeah. hardly walk. So I said to my mum, "Ha, oh. <laughs> could hardly stagger to the free cakes." <laughs> <laughs> so. um... I was in absolute agony. I said, I think, I don't like doctors, but you'll have to get a doctor in because I don't know what it is, I can't walk. She gets the doctor around, uh, I won't say his name, but he said, uh, he said, well, doesn't look like he's got long left. Blimey. So I was a bit like, hang on a minute, I've only had a few cream donuts. Yeah. My mum was panicking. Sure. He went, my dad came in from work, she said, oh, something's really bad with Carl, I think it's serious, he's, you know, the doctor said he ain't got long left. So he said, what, he said that and just left? So she said, yeah. So I'll have to call him then. So he called him up, said, uh, what's all this about, you know, Carl hasn't got long left, how long's he got? So he goes, oh, I was only messing. He's just got, he's just had some bad cream. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, the thing is... <laughs> I like the fact your mum didn't ask any questions. I know. <laughs> she didn't yeah, come into detail. No, 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 well, can I, you I, explain I, more, Doctor? No, I got us you off. I, no, but uh, she doesn't. She I, doesn't no, like no, no, you know, I don't want to diss you or your family, but I imagine if I was there, I'd have known the Doctor was joking. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, 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 I sound very arrogant there, but I imagine he went, what's he been doing? I had about six cream grounds. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Uh, he hasn't got long to live then. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think the Doctor did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love the idea your mum just let him go. Yeah. Terrified, thinking, yeah. well, I'm not going to probe him. He sees that's it then. Dad comes in. Hi, honey, I'm home. Anything happened? Uh, the doctor said Carl's going to die and then left. Go on. Watching a programme yesterday. Uh, and it was about these Japanese snow monkeys. And it was all about how animals learn things that aren't insti instinctive, particularly sort of primates, because they see other people doing it, and they start a culture. And they could pinpoint when these monkeys, when one monkey first went down and got in the hot water springs and stayed there because it was hot, and the others copied them, and now it's, a, it's part of uh, almost a culture, you know, that, that won't be handed on because it's not instinctive, but has to be learnt each time. And, uh, you know, and uh, they, um, they groom as normal, like other monkeys, right, but they're, they're really intelligent. And, um, obviously, the reason they groom other people, other, other monkeys, is because they eat the mites. But, the, also, the monkeys have learned they like being groomed, okay? So they showed this one monkey, 
it went to a deer, okay, and it was grooming this deer to get its mite off it, right? But then it didn't eat it. It held it in its hand. It went over to a monkey, put the mite on itself to show the monkey had a mite, and got a free grooming. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. That is extraordinary. Because it gave up the food, knowing that if you put one there, this monkey would look for mites on it, yeah. and it would get a free grooming, and it was like having a little massage. What do you think of that? It's not bad. I've got some better stuff coming up, are you? <laughs> <laughs> on Monkey News. On the official yeah, Monkey do, News. Yeah, do you see what, see what mine, though? Mine's true. I mean, that's an interesting and extraordinary... It actually happens. Discovery. It's social behaviour amongst primates. I, so I saw it. I saw it. It was, you know... Did it rob a bank, Rick, at any time? It didn't rob a bank, and it didn't open a hairdresser's. <laughs> so that's, that's what you're letting me... That's what you're letting yourself it's not, it's not quite good enough, is it, my monkey news? No, I've got some... See the difference where I, I named the species, explained it slightly, told you an interesting fact, mm. as opposed to, there's this monkey, right? And, uh... Look at him looking at you. Yeah, He's it's not interested with <laughs> Can I tell you now, can I try and describe for people the face that Carl has? I'll tell you what it's like. It's like if you draw, um, some eyes and nose and a mouth on a balloon and then inflate it to about half full. That's what Carl's face looks like. That's what his head looks like. It looks like a face you've drawn on a balloon. Very small, the rest of the head huge. It's, it's just that today I'm a, I'm a bit tired, right? Mm. That's one thing. Why are you a bit tired? I just haven't been sleeping, right? Why not? I don't know. I've got a lot going on in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like The Simpsons. If we could actually look in there, there would be two monkeys grooming yeah. now. Uh, Plus, you've, you've been talking about, like, stuff that I can't relate to and that, so I'm- What, writing poetry? Like what? Reading books. Yeah, what? doing poetry and stuff. I never did any of that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? At, well, at school, they didn't- they didn't bother. They tried to get us to write more, right? <laughs> Right. By, uh... Giving you a pen? Well, they, they used to give us these school diaries. Yeah. Little, little red book. And it was a way that they kept an eye on what you were doing out of school hours. Right. right so some kids would write down, you know... <laughs> Stole a bike. Yeah. Burn a house down. Yeah. But when I was at school, around that sort of twelve age, I, I didn't get up to much. You have no money, there's no you can do. So every night it was the same thing. I'd get home and you, I'd have to, I'd have to go to the shop, right? And get some potatoes and some bread every Brilliant. night, right? And I kept taking this into school. Sorry, w w was it Dublin in the 17th <laughs> century? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean every day you went to the shops and got potatoes and bread? <laughs> that's that's kind of what I had to get all the time. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> what, what why? What did you have? Chip sandwiches? <laughs> yeah. Right, and, so uh, you went to the pit, yeah, you went there. So I kept, I kept putting that. Stick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I kept putting that in the diary, you know, every night saying, <laughs> went, to, went to you phase. That was the name of the shop. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? You phase. What is it, you or you? Like H U G H phase. H U G H, yeah. Oh, is that was his name? You phase, right? right. Used yeah. to go there, get the potatoes and bread, bread and that. I what, have to find someone who's named a shop after themselves. <laughs> I'm not going to say what we sell. It's named after me or nothing, or I'm not opening. <laughs> Mainly potatoes and bread. Yeah. White sliced loaves, King Edwards. And the teacher used to always say, just write something different in there, make something up. Because yeah. like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through to Friday, every night, it was <laughs> just, went to you phase. Went to you phase? So you sort of, you, you think Are you sure, sure, sure it wasn't an advert? Sure he wasn't paying you to say, uh, get my name in the book? <laughs> yeah. The only, t the only time that it changed and she said, oh, that's, that's made it a bit more interesting, was when it was my birthday and I had to buy a cake. <laughs> Potatoes and a cake. And she said, oh, that's good. Yeah. That was my thirteenth birthday. My mum said, I got home from school, she said, oh, you're thirteen today. Teenager, big, big turnover. Go and get a cake. That's your experience of writing? No, what, well, no, that's your guess. experience of your thirteenth birthday. Oh, by the way, you're thirteen today, go and get a cake. Yeah. Brilliant. Big surprise? Yeah. Was it a big surprise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is brilliant. So I love it. That's that the only sort of writing. Well, yeah. they never asked you to write essays or stories? Did anything? you never write a story or a poem or a- The stories I did earlier on were, you know, you, you made them up but it was that thing that I'd, I'd always end them with <laughs> and an alarm went off and it was all a dream. Every right. single one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't, they didn't, I mean it was a bit of a- <laughs> What was I bought some potatoes and some <laughs> yeah. bread and I went yeah, up and it was all a dream. No, 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 no. Then I went to Charles and bought some potatoes and yeah. bread. But did, did you ever do anything that write about an adventure when you were a spaceman or you were in, you know, you were uh, a cowboy or- No? Yeah. All the teachers like had scams going on so like, 
in English, <laughs> right, you'd go in there and the teacher would say, right, what we're doing today is, got a load of brochures from Thompson, but they say like 1983 on the front, so I've got a load of stickers here that say 1984, let's see how many you can do in half an hour. You are joking. Did you go I'm to school with Oliver Twist? <laughs> Sorry, you are joking. I'm not, that's what they did. So the teacher must have been getting like a freebie or something for helping them out. You, is this- Honest, honestly, yeah, that's what it's like. That is fantastic. They were all at it, they were all, all, <laughs> they were all Other than Mr. Fagan, you had- Yeah. And then when they saw Karate Kid, they had uh, every kid washing their car going, wax on, wax off, hurry yeah. up. Yeah. I'm teaching. I'm teaching you something. Wax on, wax off, paint the fence. So I'm just saying, you know, that's- that's why I'm a bit quiet, cos you're talking about stuff I can't- Can't relate to. And why- and why didn't you sleep last night? I'm just- I, I haven't slept well for, for- since I was about twelve. <laughs> Do you sleep well, Steve? <laughs> but wait, oh, wait, wait, you can't let that go! I haven't <laughs> slept well since I was twelve. What but do you know, mean? Do you know, like, a proper... I used to love going to bed as, as like, a kid. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, oh, am I gonna sleep tonight? And I'm, I sort of wake up about four times. Right. Whereas when you're a kid, I remember really loving, like, going to bed. I'd, I'd, what, there was one time where I actually laughed myself to sleep, because I couldn't believe me luck. Is <laughs> so wrong with him? What do you mean you, <laughs> do you laugh know, yourself? I've never had it when you're, when you're really tired and you get in bed and the pillars feel Yeah, it's all cold, yeah. And, and it's like, I can't believe this. Yeah. And I, I, it happened twice, once when I just went to bed and I was really looking forward to it, <laughs> and also when I, I helped my dad out once, like, through the night, he worked at, like, at this paper company, right? And, uh, <laughs> I helped him out and I got in at about four in the morning with him, got in bed, and I just was like, I had, I, I was laughing my head off. I had to put the pillow over my head. Cause I, I couldn't believe me luck. Like, I, I was like, oh, this is great, this. I'm going to sleep. I, I just have <laughs> to say, life up north is so extraordinary. No, but you must be the easiest kid in the world to please. No wonder she knew she could just go get a cake. It's sort of like, uh, what, what was he expecting her to say? He were expecting an extra hour in bed. <laughs> yeah. But we got him cake as well. <laughs> Going to bed without that. any supper. Brilliant. Uh, brilliant, yeah. It, your own it, bed. How long was it before you got your own- what did you, you used to do before? Just some straw in the corner? No, it's just that- that thing of when you're really tired and- And do you ever do this with Suzanne, though? Do you ever laugh yourself to sleep with her? <sighs> no, that's what I she mean. She can't sleep because you're chuckling away. I'm just- I don't know what's up with me. I've got a lot going on. Carl it was in Heat this week, and uh, they mentioned that he does this thing on Sky. What is it? Uh, it was- this thing with Richard Bacon, some program about watching telly, and you yeah. just talk about what you're watching, mm -hmm. and that. And he was annoyed because he said because his parents are there, and so he's not doing it. He's not going to turn up because they heat mentioned it in heat. And so his parents might watch. Yeah. Why yeah, are you I worried about that? I don't like him watching stuff, do I? I told you it dates back to when I did Little Donkey at school. Sure. I don't want people watching me. <laughs> what is that? Just <laughs> renew us on Little Donkey. What happened? It was just you know I was there to play the drums and that. Uh, in We Three Kings, I mm -hmm. uh, was loving it, you know, I got a bit carried away. How old were you? About thirteen. Yeah. Right? Really? Probably. Yeah. About ten, no, about ten probably. Yeah. yeah. Six. Um, Jesus. Between six Where and old were you? What school were you at? Uh, <laughs> okay, you were playing little yeah. donkey. So, yeah. and, uh, no, 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 no. No, you but it was one of them schools where everyone sort of was in the same one. Do you know what I mean? Oh, a Manchester school. <laughs> Yeah. Just what the one do you mean? Well, it's like you, well, you're sweeping chimneys in the day, and then uh, one hour of learning. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? What school were you at? Was it infants, junior, or secondary? They didn't really do that. It was what one. Do you what do you mean? mean? You that. Did, uh, they still have to abide by the laws of the land in Manchester. No, but it was a, it was a lot more like like you had infants, but yeah. you also had like the older lot. There's kids there. When you're in the younger year and that, you'd see kids and talk, you go, is that- Talk English and use terms that people do when they're, they're talking about schooling. I don't even want to talk about this. No, how old were you? What, what, oh. I'm thinking, I'm guessing maybe six or seven or eight. So you went from thirteen <laughs> to six? Yeah, but like I say, it's hard to remember because- <laughs> Imagine if you were giving evidence <laughs> in a trial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, I can't really narrow it down other than seven years either way. You know, theoretically, yeah. he could get called up for jury service. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, you're on- Excellent.
<laughs> a lot of mates who I had didn't have enough money to go on holiday, and they just get a present for the summer holiday. I would like. I would just I mean? like. I, of course, they got an education, so. It's yeah, but about. Carl, the thing is with Carl is right. I want to give him gifts. Yeah. I want him to be have, a, have the loveliest Christmas ever. I want him to go pony trekking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I want to just scare the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so many things we don't know about, Carl. That fell off one out of fate, and uh, the woman didn't know what to do. She couldn't handle the horse. It was running off. I was hanging underneath, getting a kick in the head. No. Really? Now, hang on. What age were you? This could explain a lot. I was about six. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, I think we got oh, to the bottom of it here. Oh, no. He got <laughs> kicked in the head by a horse, uh, lived in a caravan, and had to live in Wales half the time. Oh. oh. Then no wonder this is your favourite time of the week. Do you look forward to this all week, these two hours? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> My mate, right, he, uh, <laughs> he, was, he, he was religious. Uh-huh. And, I, and I'm not, really. Um, but... No, I mean, you believe in ghosts, though, and shadows pushing people off bikes, but go on. But it's the same time, I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore and he said he was going to tell me dad. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Stephen and Jeffin. So he said if you come <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, I love that what kid that, yeah, he hasn't quite got, got, uh, got the idea of the protection game. <laughs> There's nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion or I tell your father. <laughs> right, so, uh, so I went to church with him and that, and then the next week he said, I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it, it's when I got kicked out for messing with the tennis ball in the pews, right? I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> well, go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Well, no. No, we, come on. That's we'll it. come back that's, to that. That's, 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 you okay. had a tennis that's ball a once in pubes. <laughs> no, in the pubes. pubes. In the pubes, pubes right. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing. It's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> Sorry. And so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades. <laughs> No, the it's called, What's it's the, called crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh -huh. right? right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Brilliant. Right, so I went on the Friday night, it was brilliant. They had Sabutio, <laughs> uh, played table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember God <laughs> gave you yeah. all this. Well, yeah. it's sort of, you know, enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games, you can play uh, table tennis and, that, mm -hmm. and talk with your friends. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all right. I so, think you'd be happy in a young offenders institute. <laughs> 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 you get to clean uh, the toilets there But as don't well. forget, Carl, I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. And my mate said, if you go for four weeks, four, like, weeks in a row without missing a day. Yeah. Uh, you get a free badge, you know, and like, salvation. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know, right. that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, school. Right yeah. Do you know what I mean, it's like oh, every day. Yeah. Right. So um, anyway, so so you've got to come again on Sunday. So I thought, well, we'll have another game of table tennis. It'll be all right. Yeah. So anyway, I go on the Sunday. <laughs> who oh. was this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go on the Sunday. It's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. <laughs> that's how they trick you. No sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> they trick you. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. <laughs> so just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. <laughs> and, brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> 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 well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so they won't, they won't even notice if yeah. I'm not, like, yeah, do you sure. know what I mean? Mm. That I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on, it was <laughs> Just this kid in the vicar. Oh, I love that. You, you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that. Yeah, and then, no uh, on a Sunday, phew, they found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. God! <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere, Rich. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella For likeness. <laughs> the fella who, like, ran the club, he started coming around and knocking on the door. And I saw him coming up the path and I said to my mum, oh, it's the fella from the Crusaders. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was No. In. She, she, she was thought like, you were off nicking hubcaps and stealing cars. She yeah, didn't yeah. have a clue what I was it's talking about. You've been going to church. Yeah. church. I don't you believe it. little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> so, uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in. Tell him I'm not in. And she had to keep doing this and they were coming round every Sunday to try and make me, like, Go, yeah. go on a Sunday, it was yeah. really important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then- Why didn't they just tell you on the next time we turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I, because there was so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Yeah. Right? It was jammed, it was well popular on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit, and, um, they stopped coming round. So I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on a Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house in case What sort yeah. of reign of terror <laughs> is this? It's incredible. Right. Yeah. So, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. 
Yeah. Uh, everything I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And uh, I was playing out in the avenue. Fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are. You, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? And I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. You know I mean, uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> So that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. And there was like three of us in the back. So I said- Is that a record? So next time- or was he it came, a joke? Next time he came round to pick us up, I said, look, really enjoyed it and that. I said, but ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again because it scared me a bit. I right. said, all right then, I didn't have to go again. That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah. He almost killed you in a car crash. That's terrific. a parable. Thank, thank God no one was hurt. Mm. Yeah. I remember that-, that Your th life moves in incredible ways. Yeah. Rather like God. Yeah. So, uh, so they're, pro go. they're probably round there now, aren't they? Going, is he coming tomorrow? Is he co <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to start on your, uh, to Steve, because I've heard all these. Um, uh- well, We won't do them all. Well, um, well, st we'll start off with the, uh, the Mr. Freeze. Tell Steve the story of Mr. Freeze. This is the first time he nearly died. This, this is the most serious of the lot, really. So, um, what it was, do you know, like, um, I don't know if your mum and dad did the same thing, but, like, they do the weekly shopping on, on, like, a Friday. Yeah. So when, when you got to Thursday, <coughs> there wouldn't be much stuff left in the cupboard. It'd just be like, you know, your Jacob's crackers and mm. stuff like that. So when they'd, when they'd been to the supermarket and they came back, I was like, uh, you know, What's that saying? Like a pig in, you know? I, I loved it. It was like loads of food coming in, loads of biscuits. He nearly said, what is that saying? He nearly said pig in shit. <laughs> right? Is that the saying? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, so yeah, all this food comes in. Thank God like... he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he'd have been in trouble. That's true enough. Because he's he's culpable for our actions. Because he's exactly. the producer. <laughs> so technically, oh. that twat's in charge. Go yeah. on. Right. So anyway, so there's loads of food, and I'm like, oh yeah, look at this, and chocolate biscuits, and uh, you know. Penguins and stuff. Bacon. So, and um, bacon. Just in case, you never know. <laughs> so, um, so, anyway, my mum and dad's putting the food away. Me and our kid are like, he's already grabbed something, gone back upstairs. <laughs> it's like feral children. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a quest for fire. <gasps> <gasps> and then they run upstairs. <laughs> it was, it, well, they just sit under the bed, gnawing at some sort of pig's trotter. <laughs> so, so I saw, um, do you remember Mr. Freeze Pops? I do, yeah. So, well, they're kind of like popsicles, icicles. Yeah, they? but really yeah. long, like yeah, a foot yeah, long, yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought, I'll have one of them, so I grabbed it. Went for the nutritious stuff first. Absolutely. And, uh, and like my mum and dad are putting this stuff away and what have you. And I, I rip it open and knock it back, right? Straight away, just right back like Swallow that. Swallow it, right it. But it, it went down the wrong way, right? <laughs> so I was like, shirt. <laughs> so I, I was like, oh god, I can't breathe. And my mum and dad didn't, uh, didn't even know what I'd ate. Do you know what I mean? It went, it, I ate it so, f f so quick. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sort of, Tapping my mum on the back, going, uh, uh, she's going, oh God, you know, he's, he's choking again because I was always choking. <laughs> if it was one thing, I don't know if I've got like a small throat, <laughs> but, but I mean, even Ricky knows I can't drink that much, can I? Yeah. Do you know, or I'm eat pebbles. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a, f a quick drink drinker. I'd always, um, I think I'm scared of like swallowing stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was like bottle tops and mint imperials and stuff. I was always, God. I was always choking on stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, so anyway, she's going, oh God, what's he picked up in it now? <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! So, he hit his, hit his nose with a stick. So I was going, oh, I'm choking. At this point, my me, me dad had like, yeah, I think he'd put his, his share away, you know, his food away and he'd gone his to- His share! I yeah. love it! Yeah. He'd, he'd gone to watch like, winner takes all or whatever <laughs> in a lounge and I, I was in the kitchen and I was starting to like, just, I didn't care anymore, do you know what I mean? I hadn't, I, I just got to that point where I wasn't struggling anymore. You just thought I'm done I just for. was like falling to the ground. And my mum's going, you know, get in here, I think it's serious. And um, my dad comes in and sort of starts shouting at me saying that's what you get for being greedy. He didn't even know what I'd eaten. Well, it was, it was the moment to teach you a lesson, certainly. So he's there like that and my mum's going, oh, look at him. And my lips were going purple and my eyes were rolling into the back of my head. You look like Marilyn Manson. And, uh, so anyway, she grabbed me from behind and did that, that fireman thing. The Heimlich manoeuvre. Yeah. And, uh, you know, winded me. And it came up, and I was all right. What the whole right. popsicle came flying back out? I don't, I don't, I, you see, that's what I don't understand. Because there no, was just nothing it, there. No, I mean, just a little there. bit. No, it swells up, doesn't it? Because it irritated it, so it went down your this sort of like your epiglottis. It went down the wrong way, like it went into your air canal instead so, of your throat, and it, it sort of it 
it sort of spasms and that's the- that's the fear, you've just gotta calm it down and relax. So but in time I would have been alright anyway. Yeah, you don't, um, well no, yeah. you might have- so that's- so, so- so- so that's hang on, one. so but- but- so- No, 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 but the weird thing is, like for like three days after that, I felt like a sort of a special person. <laughs> I was I went to school. Oh, I did, that? I'm saying nothing. I, I did full days. <laughs> <laughs> a special needs person. <laughs> Yeah. I went- I went to school the next three days after that. I didn't like wag it or anything, I did full days. I love that, three days, turn over <laughs> yeah, the week, yeah. exactly. I After yeah. three days you thought, screw it. Yeah, well, did, did a quick history yeah. exam. Yeah. But yeah. have you ever had that, where you've like felt like I've been given another chance here? Mm. Right, next that one, that's Popsicle, that's Popsicle hell, we call that. Right, next one. Uh, which one's the next one? Oh, what about your paper round? Right. Can I ask very quickly, did your life flash before your eyes like they say it did? No, I just sort of went really calm and like, I'm ready for this now. Right. I wasn't bothered, you know what I mean? I you had no scared. regrets? No. Nope. No. Nope. Um, it was weird. It was really weird. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the paper round one. Uh, paper round, I'd still say it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and he means it! No, I really oh. enjoyed it. It's like, you oh. know, you, you, <laughs> you don't have to work with anyone else, right? Oh. So you make your own rules. <laughs> just think of that. Um, yep. you know, um, you sort of You're around. spreading information well, yeah, to people, yeah, vital information. Giving a service, yeah. and no one else is around, you know, you can just do what you want and think about stuff whilst you're cycling around on your bike, it's really good. Yeah. So, um, so anyway. Imagine the stuff he's thinking about <laughs> when he's riding around <laughs> I know, I can't. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> getting in the head of a salamander. <laughs> so I anyway, I, I loved it, and even though I only got like 50p a day, right, no matter what the weather was like and stuff, I used to get up at half past four, and uh, go and do the round, and um... Why'd you get a bar pass for? Because I wanted to watch the Pink Panther at 5.30, <laughs> so I wanted to get me paper round done. I said, why didn't you watch the Pink Panther? And then, and then, then he, went, he went, oh, I can't sit there thinking I've got my paper round to do. <laughs> It'll ruin it for him. Yeah, so is it a good job or not? <laughs> so 4.30 4 I was up, up and about, and this morning it was like winter, really bad winter, bad snow, you know, freezing cold, really windy and all that. And my mum said to me before I went to bed, she said, don't be getting up tomorrow, I'll give you the 50p. I said, it's not about the 50p. <laughs> so, you know, people want the papers and stuff. <laughs> so, um... Conscientious. <laughs> so anyway, I went to bed thinking, you know, that's it, I'm, I'm, I've told her I'm still going, so, you know, whatever. Go to sleep, get up in the morning, and, uh, put all my kit on. And I, I used to have layers of clothing on, cos it was really cold, they had like a big anorak on, with the fur on, had like waterproof pants. And I got my paper round bag, and uh, I went downstairs to get out, and tried to open the door, and it was locked. I thought, oh, God, was, uh, uh, so she'd locked it, so I couldn't go out. So I'm searching around the house looking for the keys. She must have hid them somewhere. I thought, oh God, you know, I've, I've got the papers to do. So I thought, how can I get out? So I went upstairs, climbed out of the bathroom window. God, right, and to try and jump out of the bed bathroom window onto the porch. But the problem was, I had so much gear on, I was like the Michelin man. <laughs> so I could hardly, I could hardly move as it is. Yeah. And I'm trying to get out the window, and I'd, I'd, I'm like, trying to stretch down like that, get me foot on the, on the porch. And my bag got caught on like the hook of, do you know like how you have a hook so you can put the window open? Right, yeah, The yeah, little yeah, arm goes yeah. on. My bag had got caught on that. I was holding onto the, like the, the wall and my foot on the thing so I couldn't sort of pull it, pull it away in case I pulled it away and then fell on my head. Yeah. So I'm stuck there. Dangling. Dangling. My dad comes back from working nights. Yeah. He thinks I'm a burglar. <laughs> Gets out his gun. So, he, <laughs> so he's shouting and stuff, going mad and going, Dad, it's me. And he had to give us a hand using a- <laughs> He's heard that wily trick in Manchester before. <laughs> <laughs> he had to help me using a washing prop thing, a big stick. What did he do? Well, he said, just hold on for your dear life and I I'll sort of push the paper bag off the hook. Why didn't he go upstairs and sort it out? It was at that point where I was in the middle, there was nothing you could do, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's at right. that point where you've just got to make a decision. Yeah. And by the time you go upstairs, who knows what might have happened. Sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to act there and then, don't <laughs> listen around. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so- And you could hear downstairs, now here he is, the Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah. Dad! Pink Panther. Hurry up! Panther. Ever so pink! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that, that was close to death, cause I must have been about 30 foot in the air. Yeah. And I would have, you know, that would have been nasty if I fell. Fell to the concrete sure. paving, so. Well, and, um, there's more, there's more to come. Should we play a record and hmm. come back to this? Cause he's got more. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, no there, there must be no, one of them no. where you did fall on your head. This is the one I'm waiting for. There's gotta be one, that was explained so much. Yeah. I nearly did, nearly broke me back. Jeez. Once. My dad said I better can't kick me out. I said I better can. And uh, I, <laughs> I don't remember this, you didn't tell me this one. You, you no, know, I better can what? 
I was in the garden summer's day and it was that era when like doing kung fu and all that was really popular. Sure. And I was like messing about in the garden, punching the tree and, and stuff. <laughs> and my dad said, <laughs> "What a kid he must have been." My dad said, "I bet you can't kick your height." Kick uh, your height? What yeah, do you mean yeah. kick as high as yourself? Yeah. yeah. So I must have been like five foot or something yeah. then. And uh, I said, "Of course I can." So I bet you can't. But instead of doing it on the grass, I did it on like the the concrete bit. <sighs> Kicked it. Actually did it. I went there. You go. But then like get my foot down quick enough and land. Oh, on you, you pause to pause to say there. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to putting your foot back on the ground. And uh, landed on my back, and uh, I, I'd still get back trouble now. Do you? Because he say that, don't he? So he's, uh, uh, to cut a long story short, he gave me about four or five near death experiences, and he went. And the whole point of this, he went. So that's why I think I'm going to die of something horrible, like cancer. And I went, why? He went, right? You ready for this? Yeah. He said, well, I don't check my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he said, I don't like the feel. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, have you ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one at from school who I'd, I'd want to see again, with. really. So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log on to his website and then you can help, it helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And, uh, we sort of took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and <laughs> typing in your school and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them, don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not going to surprise you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch? I think I remember her. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, posh don't, don't, girl, don't, don't be libelous. Don't yeah. say, it, don't be like no. No. Um, posh, uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris? God, yeah. Remember, uh. Go on. You're grinning. What's the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just, um, she was alright. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it was, she was nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay, what about, uh, Darren Buckley? He was, uh, he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he paints a picture. He used to, uh, if, if you did this in your history exam, Carl, you will walk it. Go on. So you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door? Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> Yeah. Or his two-year-old son, Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Sheedle Hume. Hume. Uh, Hume. That's, it must be doing well. Cause it's He's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. The funny thing with him is, right, when, um, <laughs> uh, he used to stay over at his house and, um, his dad was a copper and, um, and I remember his dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. I was like, oh, God, what's happened? And, um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, do you know much about drugs? So we were like, well, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're, not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? We said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweet? Do you know, little sweets with the S on it. <laughs> and oh, really? Drugs. <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He oh, he was bluffing like that as a slang word. Yeah, he thought, he thought, because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, oh, it's a skittle. And he, he said, yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom? <laughs> oh. And it was like, no, it's a toffee. <laughs> so, uh, no, Darren, man. Uh, yeah, I know, it's a toffee, it's a squib, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah. Carl, more people from your, uh, past. Debbie Carr? Yeah, she was, uh... She was another nice one. <laughs> one <laughs> what one, does that mean? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> no, she was one of them that you'd sort of go, she's nice, but you, she'd never be your girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? She was, Not really. Even though she was in the same year, she seemed a lot older. Right. And like, it wasn't a teacher, was it? There was, there was three of them who all hung together, and they seemed to hang around like the older kids, the ones who looked like men. Do you know what I mean? The yeah. What did you look like, like then? Well, it's just that I, I had youthful sort of looks, sure. whereas like the older ones had like beards and stuff. <laughs> 
There's a gang of boys in the fifth form with beers. Were they smoking pipes? <laughs> Go, come over here, me filly. Oh, you, you, oh, you Debbie Carr, come over here, you little beauty. No, but she was like... I love that. Oh, you... was hanging around with beers. There's the big boys. Oh, fishing. That's <laughs> lovely beers. What do you I mean? just see a whole row of George Bernard Shaw's. <laughs> Brilliant. How do you do in history, boy? <laughs> yeah. They got an E. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh. They were like, um, you know, I'd be there sort of plain punching people in the arm. Cause he's oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great game. Oh, I love that, punch people in the arm. Is that part of the Olympics, though? <laughs> it's, 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 I think it was exhibition this year. Right. But it's it's going uh, to be a pro next It's going to be the Winter Olympics because you've got to do it in uh, just a cap sleeve shirt sure. in winter. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're uh, playing that. She, uh... <laughs> But, whilst but I she was didn't doing appreciate that. that. She used to go, ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think whilst I was doing that, they were like the Charlie's Angels and they'd be sorting out a mission somewhere. Because they were really like, there was something about them that yeah. you thought, you know, well, yeah, they're first, special. They were private they were, detectives. What if it <laughs> worked for a man they never see? Okay, well, th 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 here's a name I'm interested in because, uh, well, let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Mm. Oh. Go on, what? what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids, he was alright, but. He had that thing when, um, if you didn't have enough milk. <laughs> he had, like, uh, wrinkly hands and, <laughs> like, white, uh, white bits in his nails. Oh, Because yeah. he didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So, therefore, you didn't like him because you didn't get enough milk. <laughs> this is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was <laughs> I know that they weren't related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary sort of trail, do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but... You well, I, before well. you say any more, um, on, the, on Friends United you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's, what your, you know, your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Right. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed... I think it's, uh, there's about six pages here of stuff. He keeps updating it. And he, he just basically lists his memories about everyone. Okay, yeah. I, I, the school and uh, what he thinks of everyone. And uh, he says, I often see Simon, da 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 da, he's doing right for himself, self employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington. All right. And your name comes up. Now, I don't know if you've told us this story. I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it. It just says, Carl Pilkington with his pet bird. Was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone and it flew away. <laughs> No, they do that, don't they? You what what you was the story give, there, You give them seeds and they just leave the, What do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's <laughs> it. I was a big fan of Kez. And, um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so we didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate and I managed to, um, to sort of tame it. <laughs> And, um, in the end... With, it, with it became, a chair and a whip? What do you mean you tamed it? Well, just used to sort of hang around it and talk But how did you get it. hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me and I'd, The annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered. Because it, <laughs> it used to pop me bike tyres. He used to... He used to sit on, on, like, if I was talking to my mates and I was on my grifter. I love the way he just throws things in! <laughs> it's like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> It, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it and then oh, it, used to, no. it used to then never go away so it was always like <laughs> around the house and my dad said never bring it in. So he used to sit on the porch <laughs> and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head oh. and it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed <laughs> as a stalker. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. So you took it to school and it flew away? Yeah. So did you take it in proudly going, look at my magpie? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh but, no. But it, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in because I used to just keep it sort of around our estate but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get it so, there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy there and then it got to- uh? But it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, oh, what's that? And, and did, I don't suppose you called it Maggie. You didn't get uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it? <laughs> investigate? Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. A few more names that you may recall from Friends Reunited. Go on. Lisa Shufflebotham? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? Yeah, she, uh... Was she one of Charlie's Angels? She, no, no, she wasn't that nice, but she wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> her, and, her and her mate Rachel. I remember, I don't know why, but it was some sort of PE lesson where it had to be a bloke and two girls and they were fighting over me. <laughs> <laughs> and Could you hear what they were saying? 
They, they, just, they, they were just like, I want him. And I, I was loving it. Stuck in the middle and they were fighting over me. And then the next week I thought, I'll sit near them. What sort of game do they play at this goal? I don't know. That's an incredible game. But I think- Punch me on the arm! No, punch me on the arm, Carl! They just, they just went through it. Cause the following week I thought, right, I'll sit near them again cause I quite enjoyed the way they fighted over me. But then they picked somebody else and I don't know who I was with that week. So d you didn't, uh, didn't get any action with Shufflebotham or a friend? No. And what? unless you got older, she went a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> she's, not like a, she's probably nice now. It's just, I mean, I'll say about myself, when when you get to sort of the end of secondary school, you do sort of go a bit odd looking. Right. Do you know what I mean? When your yeah. sort of head grows funny. <laughs> I, I, I would just love to go back to his school of that era. I mean, just what happened to people, whether, you know, you know all people sprouting limbs No, do you know what I mean? When, when you're like 12 and that, you, you're quite, no, not 12, when you're 10, when you're 7 to 10, you sort of look healthy. And you look at your pictures when you go, hey, I was a good looking lad. But then when you get to mm. late secondary school, something happens. Yeah. And you just look a bit odd. Okay, well what about Alison Thorpe? <laughs> Not sure about her. I, I sort of know the name, can't put a face to it. Damien C uh, Comer? Again, know the name. Yeah. Can't remember anything. No. Yeah. It's a shame. Well, these are pretty much all the names I could find. We've had some interesting thoughts though, and interesting anecdotes. Yeah. Anyone in particular that you'd like to, uh, to say hello to that uh, maybe maybe listening now that no, you- No, I think I would have mentioned Darren Buckley if you hadn't brought him up. Oh, right. He was, he was like me buddy. Yeah. yeah. Did so. you ever see the, um, uh, Magpie game when you took it to the school and confused it? No. You're joking. That was the end of it, was it? Yeah. So where did it go? Probably, uh, to some other kid. Cause I mean, oh. it actually it probably got killed. Cause <laughs> if, if it was being that friendly with other people, some people might have took advantage of it. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> well, there was a program on the other week about- What, in the way that Shuffle both of them was trying to take advantage of you? <laughs> well, there was a program on the other week about bear whisperers. Yeah. And, uh, some blokes got really friendly with a bear, and then the, the, when they were leaving that area where the bear was, they said, oh, we've caused a problem here, because there's some bear hunters coming in and moving into this area, mm. and it's gonna get a bullet if it, if it acts like this, so they had to scare it away, and that's what I should have done with, with Maggie. I should have terrified it a little bit, so yeah. it wouldn't trust humans. <laughs> Just introduced it to some of your schoolmates, I'm sure, would have <laughs> yeah. freaked it right out. Well, the ones with Maybe the that was why it fled. It, it, didn't yeah, see, it, oh, no, it didn't see those two fellas with big heads and webbed hands coming towards it, did it? That would have terrified anything. It's like a scarecrow, like a two walking <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs>、yes, I'm gonna, we're white just going to be doing uh, White Van Carl, where we ask Carl the questions the son asked some other bloke. That's right. Because okay. we think Carl's got more to say than anyone on anything. Yeah. Carl only tells the truth, by the way. Just remember that, listeners. Off you go. Yes, um, well, today's White Van Man in the Sun is John Slade. He owns his own door maintenance company. <laughs> um, his, uh, his answers are very informative, I have to say. But, Carl, what do you make of, uh, the Channel 4 producer, aged 30, who duped a school into believing he was a teenager? For a documentary. Are you familiar with this story? No, go on. Well, basically, a 30-year-old guy kind of fooled the school into, um, into thinking he was a pupil for a, a secret documentary. The school's outraged. Do you think that that's, uh, you know, any, for you, you know, it, should anything go when it comes well, to making TV? I think I've said to you before, um, there's loads of kids at my school, I remember being in the first year, and kids who, what did, what year do schools go up to? <laughs> I was in the first year, what, what is it? Eleven. Five. Oh, sorry, first year of infants and juniors. No, secondary school. Eleven. Right, year eleven. Um, kids no, have beards and no, stuff. No, not year eleven. They're eleven when they first go to secondary no, school. Right. Well, I'm eleven. The kids at the uh, at the older well, end. Well, there's a fifth depends. form, and then you can leave when you, you can right. leave when you're sixteen. I think, can't you now? Right. Well, kids who were sixteen yeah. looked old. They had they, they did have beards. I remember going there and thinking some of them were teachers. I think he's answered that. Next one. What's the next <laughs> one? Tattoos <laughs> and everything. Um, I think uh, they're kids in the in the earlier years, even. What do you make of the fact that Mariah Carey's thirty-eight million pound payoff has cost EMI staff? Uh, their jobs, and we're talking 1,800 EMI staff who have lost their jobs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean... I mean, is that silly money, Mariah Carey, on 38 million? She doesn't need that much. She doesn't need that much. <laughs> she but has to dress nice, though. It's not her fault. I'd say, um, <laughs> it's bad business. Okay. Because, uh, EMI, did you say? Yes. 
right? They've got rid of them them staff. Yeah. Mariah Carey's left. Who's going to do the work? <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you think Mariah should come back and do some temping? Well, they should have. They should have got a loan and paid her. Okay. Do you know what I mean, vicious circle that. <laughs> right. Have you have you done you done a business degree or anything? Commerce. You're, you're commerce. Yeah. What, where, where did you do that? What did you do that? In school. I'd, I'd learn how to fill out a check, <laughs> pay a bill, and uh, I think I, I had a trip round Kellogg's. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you get, uh, did you get an O-level or did you see? <laughs> we know he didn't. You know. know. <laughs> but was, uh, was there a commerce exam or was it just a division of maths? Remember. Was it in fill out a check? a subset of maths. It was an option, it was like, if you want to do it, you can <laughs> What was it? Fill, fill out, out a check, check pay, pay a, a bill, pay a bill, have a visit round Kellogg's. I around Kellogg's and I saw my sister's boyfriend there at the time, he sorted me out with some variety packs. Really? What was in them? You know, Rice Krispies and... <laughs> Good stuff. Cocoa Pops? Space. Dust or whatever it is. Space dust. <laughs> so, sorry, that wasn't Ken Dodd, no. No. <laughs> that was someone else, wasn't it? That was an aunt. <laughs> that was, yeah. yeah. That wasn't special K. Um, what do you make of fears that dumped Britney Spears, she's been dumped by her boyfriend, there's worries that she may be cracking up, Carl? <sighs> what, you concerned? What, what are the signs? <clears throat> Uh, well, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just reading from this section, but I would assume that she's obviously showed signs of depression, maybe. She'll be all right. I remember, like, you know, <laughs> Zoe Harris, when she sort of got bored of me when I was a kid. Yeah. Get over it, I don't even think about her now. <laughs> 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 what, uh, and how long did it take you, how long did it take you to get over Zoe Harris? How long did it take you to get over To be you? honest, right, it was like one of my first girlfriends, and she was a pain. I remember, I went out with her because <laughs> she wouldn't stop hassling me, right? Yeah. I remember <laughs> that, I that, I love that. that. Oh, go on, then. I never talked to her, and then the bit that really got me, I thought I half liked her, and then I remember, right, we're at a school party, sort of infant school. <laughs> <laughs> infant school? Right. Are you sure it wasn't junior school? Well, it's on the cusp, yeah. right, when you're about to leave infants and go yeah. to the next one. Yeah. And, um, she was crying. Because you were saying, I don't think we should move in together. <laughs> <laughs> she was crying. She was crying. Oh, oh, well, she, she, had you she swallowed her milk? She was nearly six. Why did she grow up? No, so she, was, she was crying because somebody had stood on a dress and put a bit of an hole in it. And I said, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh, so God. You <laughs> I just think of him. So you gave her a slap? And I just think of him, he's like, six, like, with clogs and a flat, flat cap going slightly bald, going, for yeah. Christ's sake, woman, come on. <laughs> oh. Light my pipe. Oh. Well, I finished it, because all her mates were saying, come on, Carl, she's upset, and I was like, oh, whatever. So <laughs> again. Hold on, though. Wait a minute. What do you mean all the mates were saying, like, come on, Carl? They were six, weren't they? Yeah, but they were saying, come on, she's crying. Help her out. And, well, you, and you did nothing? I don't know. She got, got injured. <laughs> got all in a skirt. Yeah, but she was upset and you were her boyfriend. Oh, well. So what did you do? Tell me the story. Where I were you? Work out. You were at some kind of school do. <laughs> there was a hole That's in her dress. That's why it didn't work out, he said. I don't, do you treat your current girlfriend in the same way? This callous disregard for someone's uh, current, His current what? girlfriend does not tread on her dress. Does she? Huh. Oh, she didn't. So, as far as you're concerned, what was her name? Sarah? Zoe. Zoe Harris. She just felt like, well, you know, she's gonna make a whinge about, you know, a silly little hole. Screw her. Yeah. You're all, you're all heart, Carl. What would you have done? I'd have gone over there and given her a lovely kiss. No, you wouldn't. It's the word. We were playing dead arm. <laughs> <laughs> if you had hair, what would it be like? What do you mean? Well, you obviously had hair there, back then. What was the, uh, style? Um, it was like, uh... Sort of, I had, I had quite sort of, uh, <laughs> fine, uh, sort of straight hair. Yeah. Right. Um, hairdresser once said to me, you've got hair of a Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> he was a wise man, wasn't he? What did you think that meant then? Oh. He just said, he, he just said you've got the same hair as, as a Chinese man has. Very straight, quite fine. Um. <laughs> why is, why is he telling you? I just imagine this bar going, oh, the arsenal did well, didn't it, sir? <laughs> do, 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 do. Shall I go something like that? You've got a, you have the hair of a China man. <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> you're not the spy. No, I'm not. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not my like Yeah, lovely. You what? have the feet of a fish. I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> it's not you. Okay, next. <laughs> you have the hair of a China it was man. What, it was one of those barbers, um, it was a cheap one, just on a, on a railway bridge. I don't believe that. Go on. On a railway bridge? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why it was cheap. It was very low rent, so he could charge That wasn't the barber, bit. that was a man with some scissors. <laughs> yeah. Did you get all after movie there, sir? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm back in the chair, sir. <laughs> no, I imagine I'm them on one of those things you always see in old films where you've got you a to front down for down, yeah, like a seat. Yeah. That's it wasn't as good as that. It was just a normal chair, little wooden hut, and <laughs> it did have to stop when a train came past because it used to well, because he had to change the signal. <laughs> Just making a few extra bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love That's that. That's Manchester for you. Oh, God. I, I always oh, it wasn't him. Bernard Cribbins, was it? <laughs> I always remember him saying, do you want your hair washing? And I said, uh, is it free? You know, does it come with it? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, go on then. He said, hang on now, I'll just have to wash these mugs up. He had like a sink full of mugs. Oh, God. So I'll God. just take these out and then I can wash your head. <laughs> oh, no. And that's <laughs> why. Why did you go to this man? It was cheap. It was How like, much was it? About two quid. And when was this? Uh, God, at eighty, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. All right. Yeah. So what happened to your uh, your Chinese hair? Uh, when did it start coming out? You have, you have the hair of a bull Chinaman now, yeah. don't you? <laughs> You've got the hair of a Chinaman in a box now. <laughs> 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 oh. I used to just, um, work a, work a lot of hours, and I think- <laughs> That's what made it fall out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. It's, no, it's not, work. it's genetic, you can't It's not it, genetic. Of course it is! Is your dad old? Uh, no, it's, um, it's got more hair than me now, I think. Is your mum? Uh, Kojak's got more hair than you, Carl. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't have a go at Carl's hair, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, look at his little what, face! What did he say before in that book about going bald? It said, uh, it had a little tip, didn't it? We'll, we'll go over them later. Uh, it says, uh, if you're going thin, doesn't it say, um, cut your hair short and something like so that? So it makes you look thicker. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been into getting presents and that. I had the problem at that Christmas one, that time with the Victoria Plum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'd I hate that. We'd hate to bring that back. We've done that. Because <laughs> you talked about the book, because it's kind of to do with your dad, isn't it? He's he's a very bad gift buyer, was that the problem? Well, yeah, my dad's, I mean, my dad just wouldn't bother. It, it was my mum who sort of made an effort, and she sort of worked out half of what I wanted, then she left it to my dad to get it off someone, see if he could get one cheap or whatever. Uh, what I, is lo I love the fact that usually people talk about, like, drinking heavily, yeah. or, um, uh, violent abuse, right? Yeah. But here's what he's been left with and scarred with from, from parents is, Bad gift buying. Yeah, and that's the Victoria so bad, Plum incident. In the greatest scheme of things in the world, yeah, but that's not a bad thing to have, is it? <laughs> right, there was this. There was this. This is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Mm. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. We mate Colin, right? He Colin had, uh, No, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? Yeah. He had a uh, little uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer, yeah. which was like the the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah. You saw always go round to his house. The it's deal was- Not the one you had to play through the window because you weren't allowed No, to no, that's it. another lad. Oh, right? yeah. This is- this is a different lad. And the deal was, he came to our house and my mum gave him a pie. <laughs> and then I'd go round to his and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> sure. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year. <laughs> came round to Christmas Day, I thought, I reckon, uh, might have one. Turned out they bought me the wrong one. They bought me a ZX81 instead of a Spectrum, right? And Christmas Day, I'm there trying to load the games up. It's not working. I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? And the thing with me when I was a kid, I used to get quite sort of agitated. This quite is the, this is the moment, right? I found out that he needed a RAM pack to make it work, right? looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? And my dad's going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit. That's, that's it. So, I was that wound up, I just was sick, <laughs> right? <laughs> just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god. Went to the sink, just, just sick. Cause I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've got to get one. And my dad's like, Tandy's is shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas Day. <laughs> that was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ramp pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents? <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> He just, just I'm gonna up. die. Honestly, I'm gonna die. The only <laughs> <laughs> just being sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. <laughs> <laughs> Why was- did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a ramp pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, right, okay. them What do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, um, there wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? 
oh. through sheer anxiety. I, I do get it. It's, uh, it's not so much now because I've, I've relaxed a bit, but as a kid I used to be quite on edge all the time with certain things. Do you think that's what happened to your the cat? The wind that kept being sick. That it didn't get the food it wanted. And it just threw up. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. God. So they shaved it. <laughs> yeah, but again, you see, the cat thing... I mean, it's mad. I was thinking about it the other day, right? I, I used to think I had quite a normal upbringing. You didn't. Right? And someone was talking Your about the cat. Your mother once told you not to go to school because it was windy, Carl. It yeah. was not right. a normal upbringing. The cat was being sick, so she shaved it, so it was easier to clean. <laughs> right, well, my mum and dad went on holiday, right? And I right. stayed at the Rosses down the road. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Only a kid. Must have been about five or something, right? And, uh, I was always running around in the house. I had a lot of energy as a kid. What the Rosses did, they had this cat that was dead violent, the most violent sort of angry cat I have ever <laughs> witnessed. A tiger. It was, it, honestly, Steve, if it was bigger it would have been, because it was just always having a go at you. Yeah. If you went to pat it on the head, it went to bite you and stuff. And what they used to do with it, to stop me running around, I'd sort of be running around and then I'd get a bit tired and they'd say, have a lie down on the settee. So I'd, I'd lie down on the settee and I'd nod off and what they used to do, I'd wake up and they'd have put the cat on my belly. <laughs> Right? So I'd be scared to move because it's like it's gonna get me. <laughs> but it would keep you there. It, it kept me there and it used to sort of slaver on me and they'd sort of, you know, go out or whatever and I'd be lying there. That's not normal, is it? Carl, sorry, were you created by the Brothers Grimm <laughs> for one of their fairy tales? What kind of a life is that? <laughs>